this time. Hello. Hello. Uh, no. No, oh, no. It, is it? it is. It is. It, it is. is. Yes. Oh, don't do that to me. <laughs> Every time. The audio. Hello. Can, can you, guys you hear see us? us? Everything okay? Visuals, audio. We have PTSD, as you might know. Oh. Everything Canada, good? Canada, Toronto. Can nice. you hear us, though? Oh, yeah. We always do the roll call, don't yeah. we? Yeah. Tennessee. Tennessee. All good. Orlando. Orlando. Thanks, Kim. Yay. No visual yet. What? Don't Thank do them. that to us. <laughs> Can you see we us? We hear you. Can you see us? Iowa. Are we, we're, good, we're good to go with the, uh, yeah, our... Idaho. Visuals are good. Our camera is good. Right? Yeah. Right? <laughs> Please? Ohio, yes. North okay. Carolina. They said yes. New Jersey. Okay. I see you. Arizona. I see you. California. I hear you. Ohio. Missouri. Hey, guys. Oh, oh, is Denzel all good? Yes. Where's Texas. Denzel? Oh, yeah. Where is Denzel? He yeah. is. We, we left him in America. No. He's, he's <laughs> making a hot chocolate. He yeah. decided he needed a hot chocolate last minute. It's actually quite cold here. Yeah, he didn't want so to come I'm back. I'm in my Udi. She's back into the Udi life. I'm back into like my uniform that I was wearing here. West Virginia, Ooh. South Dakota. Oh, wow. We got a big Arkansas, Bay Oklahoma Area. City. Wow. South Florida. Oregon. We've Nebraska. got so many feelings and thoughts oh, to man. share. Oh man. Yeah, we got <laughs> we got we got our whole trip to discuss yeah. today. Yeah. And as you can see, I'm sporting my Texas Cowboy hat. Sam's but not also quite, my Anaheim, my Anaheim out of uh, America yet. My Anaheim Angel shirt too. I'm yeah. doing like California and Texas just like America a bit of a, got its hooks in Sam. Yeah, a bit of a mashup. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. Oh, well, we got Texas, we got Indianapolis, North Carolina. Yeah. Well, lots from Texas. Wow. Texas. Heaps. Maine. Oh, Maine. Yeah. Um, New London. Oh, wow. Didn't Wait, know, what? New London. From, I think it's in Connecticut. Wow. South Carolina. We went to old London. Philadelphia, <laughs> Oklahoma, Utah, Alabama, South Carolina, Kentucky, Georgia. Wow. Yep. Little guy's coming. He's making himself a hot chocolate. Oh, where's the dog? I did ask the dog. I asked Hi. Kylo. Kylo. By the way, we filmed Kylo's reaction when we got back. Oh, yeah. We filmed it. We yeah. filmed our reunion. Hello. <laughs> okay, here comes one of the boys. We call Gaiden. Where is he? Uh, I think he's upstairs he, on the couch. He literally was asleep on my bed. It's quite miserable yeah, outside. I think he's sleeping. Hello from Florida. Hello. Thank you, Shadow wow, Fire. Nice. Oh, Where do I put this? Oh, oh, right. oh, yeah. I'm going to go grab the dog. Okay. Yeah. Let him run down. That needs a stir, not going to lie. Hot chocolate. Hey. There's a um, lot of chocolate. Hot chocolate. Something that Gen Z missed while he was in America. Someone says that our, our, our accents have changed. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, what? What do you mean? <laughs> oh, thank hey! You. Oh, Ross wow. Thank you, Ross. Uh, Hello. Here he is. Florida here he house, is. Oh, zero bar God. sunflower seed king here. Oh, wow. Nice. Wow. Thank you. Uh, we have hot chocolate. Uh, Detroit Soul, now that your trip has concluded... Uh, when are you coming back? Now, that's a great question. <laughs> very good question. That's a very, yeah, okay. We've already looked at flights. Yeah. But we've looked at them back. while we were still in America. <laughs> yeah. So we'll have to wait and see. Yeah. Is that for a, a midstream snack? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Gen Z's um, obsessed with these. He tried them today for the first time. He was like, this is the best thing I've ever tasted. And do you know what? <laughs> I homemade some healthy ones and he rejected them. Yeah, he said they tasted like you mixed some um, poo with fruit. Oh, wow. Nice. That's, that's... <laughs> I thought they tasted <laughs> no great. It no, offense. Offense. No, no offense. offense. No offense. Like, 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 sweetie, none, none taken. taken. None taken. <laughs> it, it was filled with dates and apricot, and I hate dates. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. What about if someone I'm asked like, you on a date? Yeah. <laughs> whop, whop. Okay. Um, yeah, so I guess, has anybody got any other questions they want to ask? Okay, burning we... questions, oh, guys. Everybody's telling you that the Bengals won today, then. Oh, they, they, yes. they beat the 49ers. Um, are y'all Americans yet? And did you know yes. what that do you know what that, yeah. that means? What? The Seahawks are top of the NFC West now because you beat the Niners. Yes. Oh, so thanks for helping the Seahawks. Okay. Um are we all American yet? So yes. uh well pretty much. Yeah. Like like we uh if you guys have followed us on Patreon, or if you haven't been following us on Patreon, then uh one thing that we definitely concluded by the end of the trip was that America is our home away from home now. Yeah. And it definitely Can I just like say, it. I'm just gonna say one thing. Tears were shed when we left America. Yeah. Yeah. I remember driving down the uh, <laughs> I wasn't gonna say who. <laughs> driving down the highway in Texas like a day before we left, yeah. and I just started to sob because we were leaving. Yeah. Uh tears were shed. Oh, it's Matt, it's Matt from Zoom. Oh, yeah. Matt. Matt from Patreon. Yeah. You are Americans, my friends. It's true. <laughs>
actually do you know what is that and then we got home we couldn't stop playing like country music sam just walking around with his <laughs> howdy yeah. partner yeah i actually walked up to two cowboys yeah, and said I howdy i always wanted to do that it was so cool <laughs> was um, did you go to bucky's no no we didn't. unfortunately we didn't make it to bucky's because we, we wanted to do it like uh you, you know we wanted to do things properly so we, we wanted our to, lights on our, our beauty lights we got we yeah. want we wanted to go to the biggest one and i think that was actually between san antonio and uh texas oh do you guys should we turn that on well yeah i think uh, hang on, it doesn't work we're out of practice here we go here we go Let we're me, way out of practice uh warm no cold warm no. warm yeah. no cold warm. try warm okay that's warm yeah, warm's good. Let's get it. That's warm. white. No. That's that's cold. No, we're not I cold. White. Cold. I reckon, no, yeah, I reckon white. I reckon cold. White. Cold. <laughs> All flavors of white. Warm. White. White. Warm. White. Cold. Oh, cold. Oh, we're not winning. <laughs> okay. Anyway, cold, maybe we can just turn it down. How was your diner breakfast? Okay, so that was one of the first things that we filmed. Yeah. Hey, in New York. Yes. yes okay well that was that we're jumping ahead a bit here yeah we are jumping ahead but okay. they also asked what was our favorite restaurant i don't think we should disclose that uh yeah but, i don't know no, because uh, what they need to realize is that we only did fast food restaurants oh, long were you like wow. the biggest ones sorry guys i think we have been uh matthew oh how, how was your diner breakfast is that what you are asking yeah oh uh, and yes. thank you uh, judy hello from colorado glad y'all are safe yes we are um investigate india um how long were you here wow thank you so much um 20 days. yeah 20 days 20 in days. total which wasn't long enough it wasn't yeah. long oh, enough it no. was not. and four of those were travel days yes so you know uh renee thank you so much okay so what well, oh that was close Hot chocolate oh. 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 All, all over the computer <laughs> you better drink that yeah um oh t thank you congrats Don't on visiting the states <laughs> and managed to go home at a healthy weight mm. 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 not quite not quite so yep. we've got, no we've got we definitely got some pounds to lose Jesse, um, yep no that, that's just <laughs> that's just the unfortunate reality of uh you know when our, our job is to try food for the first time but also and like a, even a traveling in general um even around um europe it's just you're eating out all the yeah, time. Yeah. It's just a natural side effect of travel. You come home looking well traveled. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, merch. How was New Jersey? I hope you guys enjoyed it. Yes, uh, we loved it because we basically we, spent the whole time in the most amazing mall we've ever been to in our but lives. But to be fair to New Jersey, we didn't actually see New no, Jersey. Not, no, not not actual New Jersey. Yeah, we just saw the mall. So um, there's probably a lot of amazing things in New Jersey we never saw. Pibmets, thank you so much. You are now part of the American family. How long did it take to get to uh, used to driving on the right side of the road? Sam was like oh, a, uh, a natural. Yeah, oh, there were a couple of incidents. No, no, <laughs> yeah, a, cu a couple a of minor days. incidents. But uh, can I just say <laughs> that, like, the American freeway when we arrived in LA yeah. and I had to drive from LAX to Anaheim, it was like, it felt like I was in like a bare knuckle brawl <laughs> with like all the people. I was like, why aren't they using their indicators? Like, why aren't their lights going? I and I was like, is there something wrong with this brake light? Why is this brake light blinking? That's not yeah. an indicator. Because in New Zealand, they're completely separate lights. Yeah, it's different. You can't legally, you're not allowed but to But it's like everyone lights. was racing each other. It was like, Mew. Yeah, I know, like, I know. And he goes, I don't know what the speed limit is. I'll just try and keep up. And then what happened was, Dan was like, everyone, everyone be quiet in the car. And yeah. 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 Then he was like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Also, that time that you drove the full length of the street and you go, I just drove that full length of the street on the wrong side of the car. I know. Okay, we were <laughs> yeah, in Alba right. Island in Italy and right we now. were on this, like, side of <laughs> on the side of a cliff. Yes, and we were growing on the wrong side of the road. Growing. And none, going, driving. And, and none of us realized until Dev was like, oh, I was driving on the wrong side of the road <laughs> that whole time. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Ronald, thank you. Ron from San Fran, loved your travel updates. When you come to the Bay Area, I'll be your tour guide. Get in touch. I still need to send you a box. Yeah, that sounds amazing. That sounds incredible. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess, like, one of the next big things we really want to do in America is do the drive from uh, up PCH 180 yeah pacific coast highway i was gonna say what's that <laughs> <laughs> all, all the way up the west coast yeah i'd love to do that the fishing yeah. medic thank you so much where did you all go in houston did you go to the lone star flight museum live about 10 minutes from there love y'all's videos so houston was one of the places that we actually didn't get to do too much no it was literally the day i keep on i keep on thinking i'm leading into the yeah frame. why are we so opposite i know i know i'm, I'm like, like my face it's on. actually weird it's never everything's like, like mirrored now why uh, i'm usually on this side of the screen i know and why now <laughs> It's so weird because that's why I keep drifting out of the frame. I'm like, yeah. oh, hang on, wait, this way. 
Um, yeah, so Houston was one of the places that we only got to spend like literally one day in. And because we flew at like eight o'clock at night or 9 p.m. at night, yeah, uh, we spent the day. We just literally drove into town, looked around at all the buildings, and then kind of like drove out. Yeah, and it was like, cool though. It was amazing. It was, it was really, it was cool. really cool. Yeah, it was. It's quite. It's similarish to Dallas. Got like like some similar yeah. sort of vibes. No, yeah. one one thing I really uh, noticed about uh, Dallas and Houston, mm. and even Fort Worth, was then when you drive into the main city, it felt completely empty. Yeah, there was like hardly, where are, where hardly are you all? <laughs> anybody was walking around. Yeah, and I don't know, I don't know if there's some sort of event on or something or maybe they're just not busy city people because you know Texans. That someone left the fridge open. That I can was hear not it me. From that was you. Yeah, run, 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 run up and close it. Go and close it. He always like Dad was like, who who didn't finish their lunch? And I was like. And he was like, uh, oh, Atlanta. And Dad goes, Atlanta, why don't you finish your leftovers? And I'm like, what leftovers? And he was like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, thank you, Jason. Um, here's to you guys getting to come back to an ex- and experience the Carolinas. Oh, oh. yes, we'd love to. Uh, barbecue is something that we want to experience in the Carolinas. We heard it's very good there. We did, yeah. Um, Care Comfort, thank you so much. Recommend Atlanta's Kitchen, please. Collaborate with Sibling Band near you in Auckland. Heard about those. Some pe- some of you have, um, there's this like homeschool family and they are kids. Thank you, Dawn. Instruments. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Never I don't think they're anywhere near us. Thank you, Shibboleth. Uh, what was your biggest surprise about the US? Oh, that's a great question. The biggest surprise? Oh. Oh. I suppose what I just mentioned was in, in a lot of places, the lack of people. No, Not that even, wasn't mine. LA was because of Hurricane Hillary. Yeah. Like, I, LA was basically empty. Completely New York empty. was packed. Oh, New York was like like insane like millions of people just like coming at you all day like walking around through yeah. people it was just i've got a crazy. massive list oh yeah things we need to talk notes. about uh, as soon as we got there podcast I said notes the kids, yeah i said whatever you notice that surprises you or that you find that's different to what we know you got to tell me and i'll write it down so i've got, got all these notes we've got list. a lot a lot of notes yeah. well um, i think that as soon as we got like to any place that we've traveled to everything seemed way bigger and smaller so like when we live in New Zealand and we never traveled, everything seemed so big and like far away. But then when we actually got there, it seemed like way smaller. Oh, now. right. So, so a, it's, si- it's, a size thing in your mind. Yeah. yeah. So like yeah. it did seem okay. bigger and smaller at the same time. Yeah. Oh, we're actually getting asked quite a lot by quite a lot of people. Did we get recognized by anyone? Yes. 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 So uh, the first time we got recognized, <laughs> I was so excited. Do you remember that? That was, I was in Disneyland, like, was wasn't in it? Disneyland. We'd yeah. been there a couple of days and I just like. <laughs> it was like 1130 at yeah, night. We were was, about to leave the we're park. We're all leaving. We, we'd done like everything yeah. we had to do. We and were it was on like, our way to the exit. Yeah. yeah. And it was like, oh, and Satters. Yeah, because <laughs> they recognize my voice. Most mm-hmm. of the time, they recognize me. Yeah, yeah. and I was I like way too. ahead, like storming off, like yeah. you know, and like, I was like Sam! Le- leading everybody to the hotel, mm. and I was just like, you know, got my mind on just getting us home, and yeah. then it was like insiders, and yeah. then we turned around and had a chat. Yeah, that was also cool. that when was we really were, cool. We went to the Texas State Fair, and Dad was like leading us because he's always walking us because he's deaf and wanted he couldn't hear. Yeah. yeah, and he was wearing his Texas Rangers shirt, and he thought that the guy had stopped us saying about the Texas Rangers. And yeah, then, and he was like, <laughs> and I was like, no, he recognized. Because if that was like, oh yeah, we're from New Zealand, and we were like, wait, no, I was like, I was like, oh, thank you, I'm not a fan, but thanks. Yeah, and then you go, we're from New Zealand, and yeah. like, we were all like, I know. <laughs> thank you, Mary, Mary. Um, Elks, finally stable internet, no more cartoon fans. Oh my gosh, oh, yeah. 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 Like, yeah. <laughs> we did the Patreon Zoom call, and we were literally like floating. Like, yeah, it was like I do this, and then like ten seconds later, I'd be like. Like do it. Yeah. Somebody so said so how are the how are the um how are the keys? How are the Florida keys? Oh yeah. yes. That was so really nice. yes. Yeah. Somebody said how was Florida um and how were the Cuban sandwiches? Oh, oh I, I don't think I'm ready to talk about oh, it. Oh people also want to know what player I have on the back of my jersey. So there you go. Tiny. We saw um him. I don't want to give away too much about, you know our thoughts and feelings, but at the same time do. Yeah, no, for sure. Like, okay. <clears throat> so we took off uh like look seeing that two days out from leaving yeah we see that hurricane hillary is moving in oh yes i'm gonna start from the beginning now yeah so we we see that hurricane hillary is moving in and if you were on our first live i think you might know this yeah 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 but there'll be there's a bunch of you here but this is like the whole the whole trip breakdown yeah so we were just like we uh, we weren't really freaking out i was like um (laughs) <laughs> you, I, I I wasn't freaking out at all on this trip. I was just like, look, we're just gonna trust what's been put before us, and it's gonna it, everything's gonna be fine. So I could see, and it was. No, it totally it was. was. It totally was. But I could see this big hurricane moving in, and I knew that it was heading towards where we were going. So it was like where it's like hurricane. 
we're like, racing right, it. Hurricane's moving in <laughs> and we're flying in to the same place. Yeah. It's like we were probably about maybe, I think we were 20 hours. We beat the hurricane by 20, by 20 hours. hours. So but it made landfall 20 when hours When I first started us. tracking it online, the next day, no one knew exactly when. It, it could yeah. have been the same. We could have had delayed flights. Yeah. And then when we and that would have mucked, like we had a schedule that yeah. would have mucked everything up. Like yeah. one small thing going wrong. And it would have just ruined that whole segment of the trip. Oh, I know. Yeah. So, and, so we then, didn't, and we didn't tell the kids. We didn't tell the kids. They had no idea we were flying at the same time. Um, Edwards was tracking our flight. Oh, yes. And so, yeah. he was tracking the Edward hurricane Olsen. and stuff. Yeah. So uh, another um, another funny thing is, uh, is that that flight was by far the bumpiest flight that we've had the whole trip. Yeah, it was. But it was really bumpy, uh, like, for the first Close three hours Zealand. leaving yeah. New Zealand. But nothing then, to do with you guys' yeah, area. Was when we're like, yeah. flying into, like, LA or California was absolutely fine. Yeah. Like, nothing. It was so, just leaving New Zealand. It was really bumpy. So we didn't feel anything from the hurricane. But, yeah. I mean, we were sitting, like, it never really hit us in Anaheim at all. Like not that bad. It was the one night where we filmed raisin canes yeah. outside. We that filmed... was the worst. That's when the palm trees were a little bit like this. <laughs> but how how perfect is that, right? That's actually going to be the first video that we drop yeah. is New Zealand family try raisin canes for the first time in a hurricane. And we were sitting outside in the hurricane trying raisin canes. So we thought that was funny. It just kind of yeah. uh, fit perfectly. Um, um, so there were heaps of super chats. We did. Oh, oh yeah, sorry. Hang on. Give me one second, please. We'll catch up. Okay. Uh, we have got Jacob. Thank you so much. Well, wow. if you want a guide for Utah, when you come out next, reach out to me. The national parks here are incredible. Yeah. That's one oh, thing we man. just didn't even touch. We have to do it. Eh? We do. Uh, yeah. John, a question for the kids and thank you. Uh, where was your absolute and number one favorite place? We've asked them this as well. Yeah. So it's so tricky because everywhere we went was so different. Yeah. It was. It was so different. It's I like hard to pick. We chose four incredibly different vibes. Yeah, we did. In America, like yeah. very, very different. Yeah. And so, I, but I, that, I loved it. I loved same. all of them. I don't so think cool. that they can be like compared, but maybe an experience. Well, you could... my favorite experience was Disneyland. Yeah, mm. Disneyland. And then in Europe, my favorite place was Venice. Yeah. Dens? What was your... <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah i like key west yeah he loved he key really west. liked key west key west was really cool yeah um so hang on sorry wait uh a little while. where are we oh yeah here we are uh Stuart, thank you so much over 3k watching wow that, i'm pretty sure that's a record hey guys make sure you hit the like button. yeah can everyone hit the like button so we can all get our thrills at watching the number go watching up, go up. <laughs> i'm gonna grab my hoodie it's i'll at, be back it's at 875 right now it's at 3500 when i okay, get back okay what's it gonna be when you get back whoa <laughs> Here we go. 500. Oh, it's going Not up. The lights. <laughs> um, Everyone hits the thrills. button. Yeah. Grumpy old man. Oh wow. Oh, it's jumping. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Grumpy old man. Thank you so much. Any chance you would visit Las Vegas and enjoy your events yes. like the F1 race? Uh, yes. Or a place even like Lake Mead? Yes. Wow. Yes, that would be That's, amazing. There's every chance. There is a lot of chance. There's heaps of chances. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we've got uh, Travis Johnson. Thank you so much. Uh, what was each of your favorite meal of dish that you had? Ooh. Also, the Texas State Fair sets the standard for the best fair food in the country. Right. It was pretty darn good. It was pretty good. Uh, Ty, thank you so much. If you guys haven't already, you should get a second USA sticker map, but put the stickers up from the states oh, you've been yeah, to. I remember great. I organized it yeah, before we left. Hey, I got so it. we got to answer the first question. I already got what it. What was your favorite food? Uh, from, oh, oh, from the whole trip. Yeah, what did the question say? It was what, what was your favorite food? Okay, so my we've got a couple of like ten out of ten ratings. Yeah, I don't want to give away oh, oh, What was it? Well, there, there was some. There was some but unanimous it, ten out of ten. But these ratings. are these are the, uh, the, the the true NZers who have joined us for the live. So I think they deserve to know. Which one's got ten out of ten? Uh, not which one's got a ten. Just oh. which which one you enjoyed the most. Okay. You, you don't have to say if it was you know like if it was a ten out of ten or anything. Okay. But okay, for like, me, for me, okay. I'm gonna, should I start? Okay. Okay. Number one, absolute number one for me was Texas barbecue. And but okay, here's here like I'll give you a little bit of a a, a, a kicker. Okay, a very close second to me, and some people might be like, "How is that even close?" <laughs> I know what you're gonna say. Same. I'm gonna mimic him. Same. Three. Yeah. No, I'm not. One. Two, three, Popeyes. Yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> New York pizza. What? Yeah. Okay, so oh, man, for I me, love it was New York pizza yeah. and then Cuban. Cuban sandwiches. Ooh. Chick fil A. Ah, uh, yeah. Wow. Okay, and then oh, mine's completely different. Yours? Uh, Can I say what yours is? Yeah. In and out burger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Favorite was In and out. I'm not that much of a fast food changer. No, but you are. He, you he's are a, a pizza major and pizza pasta guy. Yeah. Okay, we got some more questions. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Sorry, there guys. Some high ratings. I personally gave some 
just above middle ratings, I was very honest with my feedback. So yeah. just know that whatever you see was all honesty. Yeah, don't get offended. Um, thank you, Adam Nation. Uh, there's been a lot of upheaval throughout America in recent years, so please give extra consideration to where you'll end up if you relocate here. Remember, red states tend to be the best. Okay, I honestly, What's I, the I don't think I've ever seen a map before that tells me what states are red and what ones aren't. So uh, I have no idea, really, where that is. Ronald Luck, thank you so much. Want to send box to say thanks, not to see it online. Oh, okay. oh. oh wow, thank you. Thank you so much. That's amazing. Um, what do we got here? Hang on. We got one. We got I another want to see one. see what they said about In-N-Out as well. Joe G. Joe G. When will you visit our city, Seattle? Oh, my partner, John, and I love watching you all. Okay. I've got a little tiny story for you, okay? Okay. <laughs> Here we go. So uh, I reached out on Facebook. I actually reached out on Patreon as well because um, I really wanted this certain hat that the Se uh, Seattle Seahawks released. And I don't know why, but it was a super limited edition hat where – I don't know if you guys remember Chuck Knox from the 80s. Uh, I think he was the 80s. Anyway, like from way back, he was a coach for the Seattle Seahawks. And he always used to wear this blue trucker hat. And it just said Seattle Seahawks on the front. Anyway, New Era like remade that hat and into like a new kind of style. But it kind of it was like a recreation of the old uh, trucker style that Chuck Knox used to wear. And so I really wanted one. And so I reached out if anybody was around the stadium because apparently they don't sell them online at all. You have to go to the stadium and buy it. So I, I then also reached out on Facebook and a guy, uh, you know, he got in touch with me and he said, I'm going to the game uh, this weekend against the Browns and it's throwback weekend. So all the stuff is on sale that, you know, all the, the old retro style uniforms and everything. And so he ran around the whole stadium for me and he like checked all the stores everywhere was completely sold out. So I still haven't managed to get my hands on one. Um, but he was like video calling me the whole time, walking through the stadium, showing all the fans walking through. It was like this beautiful, like amazing clear day in Seattle and he went into like Lumen Field and it was like so loud. I couldn't even like hear him talking. And he was like right next to the phone. And I was just like, That's oh so my cool. goodness, I want to go so, so bad. Yeah. That is like a so high up on my list now. Yeah. That's for me, that's the first NFL game I want to go to. Yeah. I want to go to a Seahawks game at Lumen Field. Um, what but, about a Cardinals game? What about yeah, a, a Bengals yeah. game? Yes. <laughs> anyway, that's my little story for okay, today. So I'll go I got, up, I got taken see... inside Lumen Field today. It was so cool. That's so so cool. thank you to Tanner. Shout out to Tanner for doing that for Is me. Is he an NZ? -er? What a legend. Uh, he he was asking me about what I do, and then I told him that I have the channel, and he checked it out, and he's like, oh, I'll subscribe. So I don't know if he's watching, but okay. he's a, he's an NZ -er now. Um, We didn't get to try any text mix. No, it's very disappointing, but it's just the way it went. At the time where our time constraint was, if you uh, can imagine four days pretty hectic in each state, yep. and then each state has its own fast food, and Ooh. you don't know how many of those fast foods you can fit into four days, yeah, and still give them uh, what they deserve as a taste test without being completely overloaded with food, yeah. So there was one day that we could have filmed something else, and I said, let's not because I'm so full. <laughs> <laughs> that I don't want to do this when I don't feel hungry or feel like eating it. I want to give it the full, like, no, do you know what I mean? So, so we didn't want to kind of like jam pack a whole bunch of just for the sake of it. No. but We I wanted mean... to give each restaurant its own chance. Yeah. But how many times were we were like, oh, my goodness, I am like so, so full, full and we have to go and do this again. But, no, I think we, we placed it quite well, though. We did. Where we didn't go, like, too crazy, like, too many days in a row. Also, so, if we had scheduled, like, let's just say, an in and out burger for lunchtime that day, and we got to lunchtime, we weren't hungry. We delayed it till 3 o'clock when we actually could, had an appetite. Yeah. So we were really careful to try and give, give each place a full appetite. Yeah. Other than just doing it for the sake of it, because I just think that's not fair. No, I know. Yeah, you yeah. definitely had to work up. An so appetite. we really made sure that we were careful about doing it, and and then we just kept saying, okay, we didn't get to that, so we'll just have to come back and do it again. Yeah, yeah. because Dad, every time we went, Dad would order like the whole menu to try. Yeah. And so we'd have oh, like. Is, <laughs> is that not what you guys would want to see? Was, so we were. So a lot of the time we were like biting a burger, handing it on, biting a burger. Handing it on. Yeah, that's probably why we all got sick. Very COVID unsafe. <laughs> but um. Well, we all have to try. I'm not going to buy four of the same burgers. No, no, we that's crazy. Do that. So yeah, so that's kind of how we did it. Yeah. Uh, we did, uh, Robert. Thank you so much. We did not, unfortunately, get to try Cracker Barrel restaurant, so, but I remember driving down the highway in Texas, seeing a Cracker Barrel. We and were I was driving like, in Texas, going, "Could have tried that. Yeah, should have tried when that. When we come back, should have tried that." And then we made that. a when joke out of it, and we'd like go past this like random like storage place, and we're like, "We need to come back and do this. <laughs> we thank, need to do this." Thank you, Travis. My kids and I love Disneyland. The Cars ride and Soren was our favorite rides. Yep. What were yours? Uh, Here's a thing. Incredible Rise, Coaster. Rise of the Resistance. Okay, can I yeah. can I just Rise say something about Disneyland? Go. And Disneylanders will know. Yeah. 
we did one day at Disneyland. Like anyone that loves Disney Disneyland will know that that's not enough. No. Oh, one man. day. Yeah, it was crazy. It's an entire park. We were there till like one in the morning. It was yeah. crazy. But one day really isn't enough. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, sorry. Thank you, Alina. I watched the game and I'm a moderator for a fan channel of the Seahawks. It was awesome. We won in the last minute. Oh, wow. Nice. Yeah, it that's was an cool. awesome game. Um, I think we've got one more. Here we go. Oh, thank you, Cecilia. And thank you, Tyler. Um, you kind of need four days just for the food in Texas alone. Put that on your uh, – I think you probably need like four months. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's that insane. Or four weeks. There's I reckon so four many, weeks. There, but there's so many options. And Texaco's? It, yes, Texaco, yeah. another like another so station. many other – But it's, it's not – I don't think that's anywhere near as big as um, Bucky's. What's that other really cool name for a gas station that we saw? Oh, Race Stop. Remember that? No, I, I, I pointed it out. I was Did like, you? that's so cool how there's a... Yeah, uh, I, saw, I was probably uh, pretending to be listening. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, while she was, like, while she was buying a Christmas decoration. <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah. Was it the one that went all the way around the side? No, that's, uh, that's Bucky's. I saw Bucky's and it was absolutely massive. I know. It was, yeah. oh, it was, but, but apparently the one... Um, oh, thank you, David. Apparently the one uh, in between San Antonio and uh, Dallas is like way bigger. We did some calculations. Could we make it there? We and tried. We were like we really tried to get there. So we had people on. Um, oh, we we ate Texas barbecue at Terry Black's and Terry De Black's in Dallas. Yeah. Oh. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it oh. deceased us completely. That, thank you, Sarah. Um, you must must check out the Blue Ridge Mountain Parkway when you come back. The parkway is full of color from the leaves changing right now. Oh, that would be absolutely amazing. I know. Um, thank okay. you, Jason. Um, Universal Studios is better than any Disney park. Well, that's that's why. Yeah. That's why I think we would go. Yeah. Wait, is that light okay? Or is it going to tip over? What should we go? Oh, I'm going yeah. to get water. Okay. Um, we want to go. We want to basically fly back to LA, land in LA, do Universal Studios. Yeah. Do what's the other park that we um, haven't done? We yet? didn't go to the OC. There were so many things that we but didn't do. There California. were two parks: Universal Movie, uh, Universal Studios, uh, and Movie World. Oh no, is that no? What was it? No, Movie World. I thought it was Disney World that we were going to do. That, that's in Florida. Yeah. I'm sure there was two parks. I can't remember what it is. It was Universal and then it was something else. Oh, man. See, out. Oh, oh. I don't think it was Knott's Berry Farm. It was something else. Yeah. SeaWorld? No, maybe. I don't know. I, I thought it was like another type of movie place. Oh, okay. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Um. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, Six Flags. Is that what you mean? Mm, nah. Might be. Or maybe I'm actually just imagining things. Maybe. Maybe it is one of these big ones like Six Flags. Yeah. I can't remember. But, yeah. This guy wouldn't do well at Six Flags. No. He doesn't like the big rides. No. <clears throat> um, Not a fan. Grab California Adventure. We did do that. We did one day there. Yes. And it again day. wasn't enough. Mm -hmm. And Sam didn't even make it to that because he was sick. Yeah. Yeah, the Incredicoaster was so cool. Yeah. Because Denzi was scared and uh, he couldn't be left down the bottom himself. I had to do it by myself. But, yeah. <laughs> Denzi oh, doesn't yeah. like heights. So if you – yeah. So happy to be back with us. Huh? I know. <laughs> uh, did you like the free drink refills? Yes. Oh, yeah. yes. Oh, okay. Also, sorry. I actually, I, I was supposed to say this before, but I got sidetracked. Um, uh, oh, did we like the free, free drink refills? Yes. But it wasn't at every single place. There, no. were, there were still some places. But that... also the original drink that you guys get is so big. I couldn't even think about refilling. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, it's a lot of liquid. Yeah. Um, a lot of people were asking us, how was the tipping? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Wait, are we... <laughs> <laughs> no yeah we should we should talk about it we should totally talk about it we do have some honest opinions on it yeah okay so but here's the thing okay Th these opinions are formed by people who don't come from a tipping culture at all yeah. who don't understand the finer like you know intricacies and all the nuances and everything like that that come around tipping that you don't you don't see in just your everyday interaction with the people. We, okay, tipping. first of all, we had no idea going into tipping. Yeah. No in, idea. In fact, there was a few times where I think uh, I just it wasn't, you know, because we we're from New Zealand. I completely we forgot to yeah, tip. We just completely times. forgot. Like, and we it's had, not in our psyche. It's just not something we do. But also, the funny thing is, is that um, they make you pay afterwards. Yeah. Whereas we just went and got lunch yesterday. And oh, you, you always pay first. You yeah. pay most, first. Most of the time, unless you're at a really high-end restaurant in New Zealand, you pay for your food first and then you sit down. But can you I don't say... You pay for it afterwards. Can I say that our our food here now, after going over there and Europe, especially Europe as well, yeah. is how much cheaper our food is here. We thought our food and cost of living was really bad. But wow. But we, we went to America and it's, the cost of food... intense. I think... 
<laughs> I think it's because the cost of food over there was the same as New Zealand, sometimes more. Yes, but then you have then to, you have to pay your taxes, it. Yeah, which it's all included here. Yeah. And then you tip. And that tip is a percentage of the bill. Yes, I know. And you're not budgeting for that. No, I know. It's so, crazy. And, and then, then you have to and do then, yeah, and you have to do the currency conversion. Then on the you tip currency too. convert back to New Zealand dollars, which we're paying, and it's double. Oh man. So if your whole bill comes to 120, then you pay taxes. Yeah. And then you pay 20% tip and then you convert it twice. Yeah. But here's the thing, okay. Then you've got a $270 New Zealand dollar meal. So we also had an experience. And uh, <laughs> okay, just before I talk about the experience, I'll yeah. just go through uh, some few, uh, few more super chats. Wait, yeah. while you do that, I want to say one thing. It was expensive with the food, but in my opinion, the shopping even doubled. It was it was good. Oh, it wasn't like, it wasn't <clears throat> amazing, but it was still a little bit cheaper than New Zealand. In really? some places. In some places. Really? I don't know. Um, not well, really. I, I suppose. The, not the... really. It was, <laughs> just that, it was just that we could get things the cost, that they the cost for us. couldn't get. Uh, we could get to, things mate? in America that oh, we can't eating. get here. Still eating. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I noticed. Eating from the camera, that's not very nice. It's <laughs> like. <laughs> She's like, so I noticed that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, Care Comfort, thank you so much. Did the sky above, uh, above seem different than New Zealand's yes. sky? Yes. Yeah, so, yeah, it's so weird to say that. <laughs> we noticed that there was like a yellow tinge. Okay, so everywhere. like even the color. <clears throat> like a yellow hue. There's a yellow almost. hue in America. Like I don't know if but, you guys know that, but here in New Zealand, everything, New Zealand, mm. everything is more contrasty. And and this is my eye because I'm a photographer, so I notice I color. Water as well. Okay. I notice color and contrast and things like that. And everything in New Zealand is very crisp and um, colors are bright. And yeah, then we, when we got to like LA, I noticed it straight away that everything what has, and I don't know if it's because of the strong sun there that everything gets a bit sunbaked, um, but there was like a yellow hue. And I always thought that was just in the movies that like a, like a wash they put over the films in the movies, but maybe it's not. No, do you know what my theory on that is? What's your theory? Is that a lot of their roads are like white or kind of like a yellowish color. Yeah. And Our roads are black. Yeah. And a lot of their... Their homes are like quite bright colors, they're like, but they're like sun baked bright, color, like dull. Yeah, I know, but yeah. I think that the, the light hits that, and then it kind of just like creates this sort of like you know this reflection, or like you know just like I don't know, I don't know, but it's so weird that you actually ask that question. Yeah. Um, okay, uh, we've got. Oh, hang on. Thank you, J Five Seventy Six. Did you get a chance to meet with a lot of your fans? No, but we got recognized a few so, times. Yeah. So if and you we hung one out of the ones that saw us in the wild. Yeah, and we hung out with them. Honestly, again, it comes back down to time. We just didn't have enough time. 20 yeah. days and to do, spend 16 four days. Of those yes. days. And then moving to different um, states, yeah. it was like. Someone said it's probably the smog or the yellow pollen. Oh. So, why, oh boy, thank you so much. But it but, didn't seem smoggy. <clears throat> no. It really didn't. Well, it didn't seem smoggy in, like, for instance. When we first got to New York, it was a little bit smoggy, it was a bit, but it smoggy. cleared. But LA was fine because of the hurricane. Yeah. It, it blew all the smog away. Apparently, in fact, all the smog was gone. Yeah, and we, when we went up to the Griffiths Observatory, we could see all the way out to the ocean. And which, apparently, that was really unusual because yeah. the hurricane had, like, taken apparently, the smog away. It but it was still rare. a yellow hue then, so yeah. I don't know if it's that. Yeah. I don't know. Um, glad you guys enjoyed yourself. Maybe you can hit up Wyoming next time. I'll take you to Frontier Days, the daddy of the more uh, of the more rodeo. Oh yes! Oh, oh my goodness! And we want to go to a dude ranch. Big one for the Bengals. Dude ranch. We desperately want to do a dude Pat, ranch. Pat, if you ever come back, thank you so much. If you ever come back, need to visit Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Yeah, of course it's on 100%. the list because yeah. we haven't been there before. Andrew, yeah. thank you so much. Hello from Ottawa, Iowa. Uh, it was the biggest culture shock about. What was the biggest culture shock about the USA? At least you guys did not come in the summer and you did not have to deal with yeah. the heat. Yeah, so I think um, tipping was yeah, a big tipping. culture shock for us. Yeah, tipping, yeah, yeah. probably. Tipping, and like, were we doing <clears> it right? Were we doing it wrong? And were we tipping? Were like, I feel like I thought it was only at food places. Yeah. But then it started to, we started to be asked to tip everywhere we went. Yeah. And I felt a little bit uncomfortable about that. And yeah. then they would oh. say a big thing but, like, we oh, arrived. It at, just was this big. We thing we, that we arrived at that to. point because we sat there and we thought about it, and we we're like, um, you know, when you go out right and you uh, people like the economy, it needs people to spend money to keep it healthy, right? Yeah. To keep an economy strong, they need people to spend. So when you go out there and you choose to spend, you know, take your money to like a certain restaurant, that's you helping, uh, you know, not only like that local establishment but also your local economy and everything like that. And then 
I, what we don't understand really, the big question we have on tipping is then after you've taken that money to that establishment and supported them by giving them, you know, your and, money. And just, just on that as well, the food isn't cheap. Like no, it's I know, still expensive. Yeah, exactly. Why is it then also up to the person who's there supporting to that pay person the wages. to then also pay, cover that person's shortcomings in their wages? It seems it's just, we don't get it. I don't get it. So why isn't the, why isn't the place of business, uh, you know, Paying, paying fair wages. Paying fair wages so that the people who are already supporting an establishment don't also have to pay for the people. And does that also mean there? that the food industry in America has a false economy? Because if they scrapped tipping and paid fair wages, was the, would the cost of your meal then go up and, massively? Because and, you're still paying really highly for your food in America. It's not like it's cheap. It's not like you're only paying for a $4 burger yeah. and it's super cheap and then you you give like a 30, 40% tip. Yes. It's expensive food. Like you've got this false economy going but, on in your food industry yeah. where you're actually having to pay for the food and the staff. Yeah, exactly. So I don't know. I just don't get it. And I would like to know because they keep saying, because, you know, a lot of the time we're being asked to tip constantly. You're being asked for money. Yeah. And because it's optional, then there's this level of like emotional stuff going on and it's really uncomfortable and i i personally because it's so foreign to us i felt a little bit like it made me feel uncomfortable they said in certain places yeah yeah and then if you don't tip what they want you to tip they start like no but is there a certain there's like this whole level that i was like what is going on what i want to know is let's just say let's go back like maybe a few decades maybe to like before the year 2000 it's like eight 70s 80s and 90s has the actual attitude of the people who are expecting to get tips has that changed drastically yeah. to, to nowadays? Is, has there been a shift in attitude with tips? Is it like they're now just expecting it every single time, or is there is more it of not like based a, on service? Is it just an expectation? Look, and I know that tipping is a real controversial subject, so it's kind of weird that we're getting into this because I don't know if we were going to do it. And I've seen heaps of of like conversation online from Americans talking about tipping back mm. and forth, mm. and. A lot, I, a lot of people, there's a shift towards people who, who aren't doing it anymore. Who, of people who don't want to tip anymore and they want restaurants or the food industry to take a little bit more. Um, but but then again, on, on the flip side, you do have that other side of it where the uh, generous people are just there who are wanting to help and wanting and, to reward. And that's fine. And wanting to reward. And, and I think that's cool because I reckon that it breeds a generous culture, which yeah. I think that America has got. And that's, not, that, that's, and that's a, a good thing. Yeah, that's a totally like, so not a bad thing. So like that's the tips, the flip side of it. But I, because, you know, we don't know how much of a shortfall in the wages is happening in the food industry. Yeah. Like, versus like because we don't know and i genuinely would love to know how much a waiter gets paid um versus someone that works in an office is it really that much less i don't know um a lot of people are saying that if people <coughs> ask for tips they don't tip oh, right. we were that, asked all the time okay yeah. so uh, okay all before, the time. Uh, i'm going to ask to uh, uh, answer christopher w's question um before, so, I want to. I want to read some feedback. Yeah. So after this, uh, so basically, this was yeah. right at the end of our trip, right? This was in Houston. This was at the um, the airport hotel, uh, or one of the one of the hotels near the airport. Yeah. I won't say which one, and I also oh, won't say yeah. I won't say how much we spent or how much we tipped or anything like that. But anyway, we went down for breakfast, and it was one of the only places where breakfast wasn't included. So we so were just, paying for it. Yeah. We just decided, okay, we're we're miles away from anywhere to eat right now, so we'll just pay for the hotel breakfast, whatever, yada yada. And it was and, great. And it was, it was really great. good breakfast. It was, really beautiful it was breakfast. good service, yeah. and we did tip. Okay, we yeah. did we did leave a tip, and then I we got up to the room, and within about two minutes of getting into our room, our phone rang. And I was like, oh, that's weird. Maybe they're like asking what time I'm going to check out or something. And I picked up the phone, and it was the lady who had just served us, mm. and she was like. Uh, was there something wrong with my service or something? Like, she goes, what, did I do something wrong? Yeah, what was what was the problem? And I was like, oh, absolutely nothing. The food was really great. Thank you so much. We we really enjoyed it. And she's like, but you only left X amount of money. Like you only you only tipped me this much. And yeah. I was like, I was so like, we didn't even know I was shocked. Say. I was like, I was like, I was literally had no words. I was like, uh, you said um, the, yeah, the service was great. Thank yeah, you so I was much. like, no, it was it was great. Thanks. And she's like, but you only gave me this much and i was like yeah um thanks okay bye. Have, a, have a good day so bye awkward. it was so awkward i was like do you want me to like come down and then like you know hand more like 
money straight to you because you're not happy yeah. with what uh, I, I was like that was shocking you would just never get that in no, New Zealand and I, was, I suppose that's probably the biggest culture shock for us I yeah I know I was so I was going shocked back to the question yeah yeah I want to read some feedback yeah, about so, the tipping okay so uh people said well, the, the question that I asked about the has the attitude towards tipping shifted over the last few decades and everybody was saying yes it has okay and the culture of tipping and everything but we genuinely had some amazing service where oh, that, uh, that's how much they earn Two dollars seventy-five. And there's a problem. Mate. That's there's insane. A problem. That's there's, where the problem there's is. There's a disconnect going on. There here. needs to be a way higher minimum wage. So the wage. restaurants are actually earning huge amounts yeah. off their food. Wow. That's what's happening. That's insane. In New Zealand, we're paying the same amount, and it covers the wages. Isn't, so there's something going on here. Isn't the minimum wage in New Zealand eighteen dollars or something? Wait. Seventeen dollars seventy-five. New yeah. Zealand Didn't minimum get, wage. And that's about eleven or twelve dollars US. Uh, US I yeah. Think. Yeah, 11, so, 11, so, 10 or 11. so a restaurant who's, by the way, they're charging the same amount. Mm. Sometimes US was more. Yeah, true. More. Yeah. And they're paying their staff. Yeah. Full wages. I so, know. so your so your food industry is basically making money hand over fist. Yeah. Something's yeah. got to give, right? Uh, it, it, people change. are saying that, that that waitress who called me up so should be fired for that. And they're saying that, oh. that, that that's basically extortion. And it's not, it's very rude and not normal. That, okay. Do you know what? That was our last day in America. And it really, that's probably why we're having such an open conversation right now, because it kind of something that we were like, something that we were thinking was a little bit of an unusual thing that we were dealing with was really left on that note. And we were like, far out. That's Wait, just weird. I'm, I'm, I don't get this. Someone just said uh, a waiter gets two to five an hour and the min minimum wage is 15. How does that make sense? How does that work? Maybe waiters get paid less. Oh, is it 15? No, 15 percent. No, 15. so 15 dollars an hour must be their minimum wage, and waiters get paid way less. No, it's like nine or 12 dollars. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Do, or is it just one of those subjects that no one really knows what's going on? Yeah, um, okay. So, anyway, we need to catch up on some super chats. Yeah, oh, no, have I, can I get back to it? How do I go up further? What do I, I? I actually think that the biggest change is not with the waiters and the tipping, it's got to be within the restaurant industry, surely. Yeah, surely. Um, someone said, uh, <clears throat> someone said, oh yeah. And I think we should be open and honest. Oh my goodness. I think I can't, why can't I go back There's up? There's one up. You just, you just missed one. Wait, where? Go down. And she was saying that her sister's a waitress. Go down. No, it was up. Uh, minimum wage in Georgia. Oh, thank you, Jason. $7.25. Okay. So up. there's so many super chats. I can't have one. No, that was it. No, that was it. Uh, so how do we go? Oh, I, I, I want to go up. I don't know how to go back. Oh, have we missed it? Wait, what's this one? Uh, oh, my sister is a waitress and gets paid six dollars fifty an hour. Thank you, Jenny. And I work at a call center and get nineteen. Oh, okay, wow. So she mainly gets paid only with tips. And and I think. Thank, wait, sorry. Thank you, Matthew. Um, and before this disappears, oh, yeah. in my area, Central Illinois, twenty percent tip is standard at non fast food restaurants. You don't tip full fast food. Big cities are always going to have inflated prices. Mm. Wow. Okay. I think we missed, I don't know how I can't get back to a few, but somebody asked us um, if we ended up spending all of the uh, GoFundMe money that people donated to us. Yeah. So it was basically and way but, more. Yeah. Because they are, oh, yeah, like a lot more. And, mm. but, but basically that came in before we even left mo most of it, like the, the, the huge share. And also if anybody did uh, donate, that is like, it was the reason we could go. It was literally the Absolutely. reason we could go. Yeah. It was because uh, it came at a time when we were basically like booking all the flights and the accommodation. Yeah. And it was just oh, like getting God. those first things all set in stone. And then once you get those things set in stone, that's when you can start piling on top of that. Things like, oh, we need to go to like, we, we have to go to Disneyland. We have mm. to film this video. We have to go to Texas barbecue. And it's like, it's yeah, we're between Patreon and GoFundMe and also just literally just supporting on YouTube mm. just by watching the videos. That's like, that helped us literally. Massively get so much amazing things done and experience yeah. life experiences that we never would have got know, to have done insane. without those donations but we did run out of money at the end yeah we did <laughs> yeah like, it was like, like it everything was cost so much more than what we thought it was going to yeah but so worth it and it was just so incredible yeah um, never forget it it was unbelievable oh. But, and, life changing. Uh, there is no try. Thank you so much. Waiting tables, like many entry level jobs, isn't a career job, it's an entry level job. Mm. The food would be too expensive to afford, though good wait staff do make enough tips for a career. Wow. Uh, Ginger Lady, thank you so much. I was a server in the 70s and we got paid 50%. We never asked for tips though. I gave good services, and if I wasn't tipped, I assumed they were having difficulty financially. Well, mm. that's a good attitude. Mm. Instead of calling them up and saying, give me more money. I think maybe I would have been, yeah, I would have, I didn't realize 
that they basically didn't make money aside from tips. Yeah. But that, but you know, with that creates an industry where they're asking for things all the time. Like mm. it's got this. And there's a reliance. There's like this emotional kind of weirdness that it brings to it. But and I guess that's probably just because we're just not used to it at all. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, okay, so you can change the top uh, live chat. Oh, all me all messages. Okay, cool. Okay, so so oh, here we go. Okay, oh, here they are. Wait, no, I can't go. I can't keep going. Can I keep going back? Live chat. There's times when you can't win with tipping. I've been given dirty looks for twenty five percent. It depends on the area or the restaurant, and even within your own state. That's oh, and, wow. that, and that's the thing. Like, yeah. BBB, thank you so much. Before the year two thousand, at eight eight percent tip was considered good. The, so it has changed. the percentage keeps going up and mm -hmm. what is expected in tipping has gotten out of control. Everyone expects a tip. Tips means to ensure proper service. Asking for a tip is a no-no. Wow. Okay. Okay. So, okay. Cause I honestly, I, cause I, I'm not familiar with tipping or that whole culture. I thought that I had done something so wrong afterwards. I know. I felt we so like... bad and so guilty. <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness. I was like, even if I did go down and give her you know more money like what she was it's asking for yeah. i would have felt like so embarrassed i know because i would have had to confront someone that i'd done something really wrong i know against. and i was like oh no we I were was like, like let's just go. <laughs> oh man but then i thought about it and i was like but mm. I, I thought about it and i was like how come this whole trip not one other single person has done that well and they haven't come after us afterwards yeah no, no that's what i mean and i, I was like was okay unusual. maybe it is just a one-off thing so yeah, um really bad anyway we should move on from tipping we're going to do a podcast on it <laughs> yeah we'll do a po full podcast on all the tips and everything um yeah. charles thank you so much how was the jet lag going and coming oh, back i felt bad today i was uh, doing good and then today i was like oh fine going up i think yeah. i think whenever you leave it's always better because the excitement of everything oh yeah your adrenaline is like pull that off the completely. why is he why back you there so far back? yeah you can get at you Oh. Yeah, go like this. Yeah. yeah, when we got there, we were just so stoked and so excited. Yeah. There um, you go. Foot rest for everybody. Yeah. So they can have a blankie. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Um, um, so we it's, I, yeah, the excitement of going places we and everything. On you, don't, you don't really think of, uh, uh, of jet lag, really, when you're going up there. Yeah. And also, like, we actually, if you can, it's really easy to adjust to different time zones. If all you have to do is just wait for your normal we have 3700 oh wow it's going up are you guys here for the tip you guys are crazy <laughs> everyone's like oh everyone's like spill the tea yeah everyone's uh pull up a blanket <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> get warm i thought we were gonna offend everyone with our tip talk but we're just being honest honestly yeah no we're trying to be as uh open and honest and there's, transparent as possible I keep there's about 1000 people that haven't hit the like button that are watching oh Jeez, this guy oh, this guy oh my goodness he's like the like button campaign yeah you I'm heard just, it from him just, you're like the, you're like the tip, <laughs> tip seeker, but yeah, exactly. in the like version. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just pointing it out. Um, thank you, whatever. Uh, glad you all had a great time besides crazy waitress. <laughs> <laughs> she, she was actually lovely. That's the thing. Yeah. That's what caught us off guard. She was a lovely waitress and yeah. she was great. Thank you, Dragon. Hi, guys. Uh, watch often and love your content. Hope you had fun. So much fun. So much fun. Yeah. Uh, so much fun. Oh, okay, Zachary, thank you so much. Uh, minimum wage depends on the state. Like here, where I live in Oregon, it's fourteen twenty-five. It also depends on where you live in the state because Portland is fifteen dollars. That's another question that I was going to have. Every state must vary from state to state. Yeah, it really must change. So, so waitressing must be exempt from the minimum wage uh, requirement M must because be. here. Minimum Maybe because, wage is across the board. Doesn't matter what you do, but you it, get minimum wage. Is it only and more? Is it only exempt because of tipping? Yeah. So I reckon there needs to be, a, my opinion, I reckon there needs to be a system change where they make the minimum wage, mm. regardless. Yeah. And then tipping is like a optional thing where occasionally someone who's got the means or whatever wants yeah. to give them a great tip because they've been exceptional yeah you know but also but then if, they wouldn't have to beg for it if, if and you, that makes them a little bit more rest easy i find i think also tipping would change dra uh, drastically between uh different sizes of parties who go into places to eat so if you're yeah. one person 20 percent of your bill is fine right yeah if you're five people or four people and you go in and do 20 percent, you're yeah. paying for you you might as right. well have walked in there with five people right you're so paying for, for like us, a whole nother meal yeah basically. so for us we're paying four people yeah 20 percent um, for us yeah. would have been another meal on yeah. top of that yeah 
So if eggs and, and honestly, get like, on, okay, we're back in the tipping, and they're like, move on. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I know we're said, back here, and everyone's like, move on. So I said, okay, you guys have officially become boring. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Okay. Sorry, sorry, so, sorry. Let's move on. Well, we'll save it for the podcast, so that if you actually want the tip chat, uh, you can go there. Well, did I? Did I say? Did I say that one? Did I say that one? Uh yeah, jet lag. Yeah. Yes. Um, what have we got here? Hope you had fun. Yes, we did. Glad you all had a great time, apart from Wazy. Crazy waitress. Crazy waitress. <laughs> <laughs> Smash that like button. Okay, so let's talk about. Um, oh, thank you, Dylan. Uh, oh, wildlife. Did you see any wildlife like deer or armadillos while driving? Yes. Oh yeah. Okay. This guy. This what? guy. <laughs> this guy. He he wants basically he wants a pet squirrel. Yes. So the officially. squirrels. You guys, they're probably like do you guys when you see our sheep. I don't know. Americans come to New Zealand and they just want sheep selfies and like <laughs> they're like obsessed with the sheep. And we're like, what are you even talking about? Yeah. That was us with squirrels. I know. We were crazy when, squirrels. When I like, saw a squirrel, I was like, oh my gosh, it's a squirrel. And then we kept walking through the park. This was in London. And then I saw the squirrel. And then I was like, that's weird. So then it was just sitting there going like this. It was just eating a nut by the bottom of the tree like this. It was just sitting there like, <laughs> and then it just finished and then it was just standing there for a while. Then I came close and then I grabbed a couple of peanuts and then I checked it over and then it walked over to me and just um got one straight out of my hand. It was the greatest moment in Denzel's life. Yeah, that and was pretty much And then we saw one peak. later on. Literally. And then um, I got to like pet it. And it was just sitting yeah. there. Yeah. Where was that again? Uh, <laughs> it was at the bottom of the London Eye. Yeah, the, the bottom of the London Eye. People call them fluffy tail rats. Yeah. Um, but we saw them in America as well in um, Central Park. Oh, yes, and some in Florida. Um, Tyler, thank you so much. Could you tell the diversity in accents in the US? We started to yes. pick up on it, eh? Oh, man. Yeah. I, I, I love the Texas accent. <laughs> yeah. That's so cool. Okay, so on Patreon, I was explaining a little story that I had. So we basically landed in Houston and then didn't really have too much interaction with anyone. And then we drove uh, and we were like out in the middle of nowhere, but somewhere between uh, Dallas and Houston. And we stopped off at this gas station and because it was attached to a Whataburger and we were trying to find a good place to film our Whataburger video. And I walked into the gas station and then the, the, I got some like bottles of water and I put them on the counter and the lady, she was like, you know, in her voice, you know, she, uh, I can't like what I was like, you know, That'd be eight dollars seventy-five, and I was like, "Oh, that's so cool! That's the first time I've heard that accent." And then a guy comes in, and he's like, um, "He's like, uh, did y'all see me on pump number 14? And then the lady was like, "Oh, I'm sorry, was that you on the monitor? It was too bright. I couldn't even see you." And he could have come in and been really mad because he's probably standing out there for ages, Waiting. like, "Why isn't my gas pumping?" And he's like, "Oh, it's quite all right. It's quite all right." <laughs> and he like walked back out <laughs> with his cowboy hat, and I was like, "Oh man!" <laughs> that was like the greatest moment. I was like, "Is there like are there movie cameras around?" Yeah. <laughs> Am I, like, am oh, I yeah. in like a movie scene somewhere? Yeah. When we were in like the little town of Fort Worth, like the um, Fort the Worth. rodeo town. No, what was Stockyard? it? Called? Yeah, the stockyards. Yeah. Um, I was dad was getting some like boots and hat and stuff, and so he was getting thirsty, and he goes, "Oh, can you go across the road and get me some water?" And so he gave me his card, and I went over the road to like this little like burger place, and I asked for two bottles of water, and then this like couple um who was next to me at the bar where I got the water was like, "I'll just put that on our tab." And I was like, oh, thank you so much. And I was like, so nice. I was like, yeah. are you sure? And they were like, yeah, of course. And I was like, <laughs> and that, that basically would never, never happen, happen in New Zealand. Zealand. No, like, never. Never. Um, and someone did ask, were Americans friendly? I saw that one. Uh, um, incredibly. Yes. Incredibly friendly. Incredibly friendly. Like, probably the most friendly people I've ever met in my whole we, life. We, it made us realize. Like how unfriendly Kiwis can are. I, yeah, I know. I, I but let's not. I Honest don't want, opinion. I don't want to be stinked to Kiwis too, and that's not a general rule of thumb here. In New no, Zealand. it's not. But, but we're not as open. But we are not as open. I literally felt like every time I got in a hotel, uh, uh, um, you know, lift uh, or elevator or whatever, I would come out of there thinking that I just spent some time with my best friend. Yeah. Okay. So here's like, the you thing. Know, oh, how's the, how y'all going? And I was yeah. like, you know, and I was, and they were like, oh, what's that accent? <laughs> yeah. And I was like, oh, uh, uh, they're like Australia, and I was like, no, New Zealand. And they're like, oh, Australia. wow. <laughs> Yeah. But here's the thing: Kiwis are not unfriendly. We're not like no. cranky or unfriendly at all. But, but we not... are not open. We don't just like you get into an elevator in New Zealand, and more they, times they just, than yeah. not, it's, it's dead silence, awkward silence. And you could have multiple different people in there, and no one says a word. And even when you when you when the doors open and yeah. they get out and leave, no, nothing is said. But in, in America, they turn around and go like, "Y'all have a nice day." Yeah, yeah. And, like, and so they would leave the thing and be like, "Have a nice day," you know. And we're like, oh. Yeah, and I even you saw too. like in Fort Worth in the hotel, there was this lady and she had like, we kind of got to know her, you know, she was always down there and like serving us and stuff like that and checked us in. 
and I, I I came down to talk to her, and then this guy just came out of nowhere. He must have been a guest or something. Yeah. And he just walks up to her, and he's like, uh, you know, like fully just wanting to know all about her. Like, you know what, you know, oh, what's your name? Like that. And he's, and he's like, like, hey. Yeah. And he's like, and he's like, goes to like, he basically like gives her like a big hug, and like just they start talking about like, you know, oh, how long have you been in Fort Worth or Dallas or whatever it is like that. Yeah. And he was obviously from like somewhere out of town, so he's like an older guy, but he was just like so friendly. Yeah. And I was like, I think in New Zealand, when we have those interactions, it's like let's just do what we have to do and then leave it. Yeah. Like no extra chit chat. No, Let's there's no not. chit chat in New Zealand. Yeah. Maybe a little bit here and there sprinkled Depend- around. There's some people that are more chatty than others. But in America. But in, in America, everyone's your friend. Everyone seems it's like they just totally the greatest. <laughs> willing to be your it's friend. It's so good. If it's sugar, if it's salt, Okay. Salt for New Zealand. Hey guys, so Alina Docker, this is the last one I think that we've got on the tipping thing. Okay. The state can raise, oh, thank you so much by the way, the state can raise the wage, so can the city. Washington State is fifteen seventy four an hour and will be sixteen twenty eight starting January 1st, but city of Seattle is eighteen sixty nine, highest oh, wow. in the nation. That's higher than New Zealand. Wow, that's yeah. incredible. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much, Gary. Uh, I think we've got a few more that we missed. Um, there were a Wait, couple. they said something about your accent. What? Wait, nailed it. Oh, they were talking about my accent. <laughs> yeah, they said the. Oh, I loved it. Yeah, yeah, they said, damn, that's a good accent. Yeah, yeah, Sam's got it down. Thank you, Go Blue. Uh, joining late from Pensacola, Florida. What one What one myth about the US were you nervous slash scared about that you realized was a lie or just exaggerated? Guns. Uh, I thought I was going to see guns on everyone. Yeah, that's kind of like, how, like holsters with like, yeah, you know, like. I thought I was going to. Revolvers and, and everything do you remember? Like I don't know if you guys remember that one time we went live. I had no idea going into this, by the way, and you guys know that. I said, do we need to buy a gun? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, and now I realize how absurd <laughs> it was that I said that. Yeah. Because I actually thought we were going to see, like, just People, guns everywhere. Yeah. I yeah. thought like, there was just going to be like, guns everywhere. I forgot everywhere. that it was even legal to carry them around. I know. I, like, I didn't see one gun. I didn't see mm. a single civilian with a gun. And I know that it's concealed carry. So maybe they did have one. I didn't see it. But I literally, in my mind, just. But you only you only learned about that afterwards. Yeah. I, I, I know. Yeah. Because I was like, I, I was like, see, to Sam, I, was like, I thought but, we're going to see guns everywhere. Yeah. But it was a bit of a shock seeing, like, massive rifles just, like, Oh, around the airport cops, yeah. uh, soldiers uh, but the thing is you go to italy and they have soldiers there with oh, no, massive europe, machine well, guns you there. go out to some France. monument in europe and you've got these massive like yeah assault they're, all, they're all standing there and when we were Very driving unusual back, for us. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah yeah we were driving home and we went past this little town like i can't remember what it was oh yeah and right in New Zealand. this is like never seen there were like five cops outside this like With big massive tin, assault rifles. like building. I don't know. It was like some sort of probably like storage. Oh, place. when we got back here, yeah, yeah in New oh, Zealand, yeah, yeah. And we were like, all, they, the were, like yeah. they were like they lined up in the <laughs> was, wall, like they, was, they were like yeah. there's someone hiding in there, and they all had their rifles. And they were, like, yeah, they were like up against the wall like this. They were like pretty much like a SWAT team. There was yeah. like a SWAT team incident on our way home. A lot yeah. of people are saying and they're very concealed. Um, oh yeah, care comfort. Thank you so much. Did we see any famous people? No. But yes, oh, we saw I one. did. Yeah, we saw one. From we saw two. From yes. Selling Sunset. Yeah, so Heather. Um, at the Anaheim Angels game. Yeah, Heather. I Heather, think it's El Musa. Something like that, yeah. She was at the game where you bought that. From Selling Sunset. Yeah. And, um, but else? I only saw her through binoculars, so uh, and count, then I don't know. We went to a lot of sporting events. Yeah. So if you count like athletes yeah. as famous people, then yeah, we, we and then we saw lots of we randomly bumped into a um YouTuber. And he literally asked us. Oh yes. Yeah. What was his name? In like London. Dan, Dan Dan Rhodes. Dan right Rhodes. outside Buckingham a magician. Palace. Do you guys know Dan Rhodes? He's got like twenty five million subscribers or something. If you guys, I don't Crazy. know if you guys will know him, but anyway, um, he came up to us and asked us to be in his video, and yeah, we yeah. still didn't know who he was. I saw another famous person. <laughs> who? It was a guy in the mirror. Oh, oh, this guy. thank you pat did you get to drive or no yes we drove yeah. almost, i drove in every state except for new york yeah uh thank you john how long uh wait love how i log on late and you're just praising how friendly we are lol <laughs> that's true oh uh, it's so true yeah. it was so so good yeah i've like yeah i like and everyone think, seems happy in america yeah yeah genuinely. It's from what we, from what we experienced well obviously we can only talk about our experience i think okay so i think basically like the vibes we Except got for the lady you didn't tip enough oh yeah <laughs> the vibes we got in um uh in california were like real funny like lots of like humor and like because the guy our tour guide was like so funny he was hilarious and like you know yeah. the people that we were like we just saw it was all like sort of californian like a little bit laid back but americans know how to do hospitality yeah yeah that you just know and New York, New York was more like business minded. Yeah. It was more like, but it was like, 
we take what you know whatever you want we take very seriously like they're quite serious people yeah, in New York. we like, felt it's like business it's like yeah. get it get it done yeah you know like, there was less chit chat in new york yeah you need this done like yeah. it's done you know where yeah, in, 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 in la it was like oh how can we help you yeah, yeah like you know like a yeah. little bit more like that yeah. then florida was obviously like super beach vibes like yeah. miami beach yeah it was good vibes and everybody was really nice most yeah. mostly hispanic people so there's yeah. i found sometimes they were probably, in fact, you know what? I, I didn't, uh, I didn't experience anywhere in um, America except for Florida or Miami, where they couldn't understand me. Yeah. They couldn't understand me because I think a lot on their first language is Spanish, mm -hmm. and so they, uh, and it was, I was shocked. I was like, I was speaking, I was like, oh no, like, am I not like, is, am I mumbling or something? Yeah. Because they, they really like zone in and look at my mouth and they're like, you know, sorry, sir. And, yeah, and yeah. Like, and, and I speak again, and then they're like, and but everywhere else in America, it was like totally like no problem. Yeah. How much people are on the live stream? Oh, oh nearly four thousand. Have, oh! have we ever hit four thousand? I don't think no, we've ever no. hit three thousand. No, no, we have. We, we have. 3, have we? I don't think we've hit four thousand. We've never hit four thousand. This 000. is the most deep already. Wow. Guys, hit the like button. Let's go. Boom, 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 yeah. boom, 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 boom. And then for me, Texas was just like this such like down to earth like you know that draw that southern drawl in their accent yeah everything everybody was so warm and like friendly we and, fell like, in love with the the cowboy hats yeah and boots. everybody wants to be your friend yeah and it was just like everybody was so helpful all the and, cowboys smoking yeah. weed oh, yeah. <laughs> there was a lot in every state <laughs> every, in every state. state there was the smell you of it guys just like love everywhere your weed yeah right. honestly dad, dad, <laughs> the, the guys that dad they were probably like in their 80s or something or, yeah oh, and maybe like 70 yeah. howdy y'all or something like that yeah and then they were like Watch, guys! I've always wanted to do this. Yeah. And I walked over there. I was like, "Howdy!" It took two and he guys. Like, his and they were like, "No, just like smoking." Yeah, yeah they were just like. <laughs> 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 so um, funny. We've got. Uh, I think we've got a few more. Uh, did you see a lot of American flags? Yes. Yes. Uh, especially in Texas. Yeah. Texas. Texas there you is have a lot of American. A flags. lot of American yeah. flags. And Texas flags. And too. Texas flags. Yeah, true. Yeah. Um, where are we? We have got another one. Uh, oh, thank you, Knight. Uh, glad you guys had a fun trip visiting. It was it was more than fun. Um, thank you, Pebmats. Did you enjoy the baseball game? Have to get a New York Mets jersey. Definitely. Yeah. I wouldn't mind having a jersey from every team, actually. Okay. <laughs> but can I just can I say something? Okay. So our our video that we filmed was the um, Angels versus the Rays game in LA. Yeah. Where the Angels got absolutely demolished, like smashed. I think it was like 14-2 or something. It was yeah. crazy. But the food in the stadium blew our minds. Yeah, the food in the stadium was amazing. Wow. But anyway, thank you. And also a huge shout out to Edward for sitting next to me the whole game and explaining all the rules. I yeah. know I know a lot more now. And because of the work that Edward put in, um, I was, I'm now able to, uh, and and I went back the next day to the stadium because there were so many people there, like all trying to buy gear. And it was actually and we like, just landed, and literally. there were so many Japanese landed people. Landed on a plane, 15 hour, what was it? Flight. 12 hour flight. 12 hour flight. And yeah. straight to the base. Straight line. to the game. And we were late too. Yeah. So uh, anyway, walked down to the shop. It was like filled with way too many people. So I came in the next day and I wore my angels Jersey quite a bit after that, like in other States. Never really got too many mentions from anybody. Uh, as soon as I wore my Texas Rangers jersey, yeah, it was like every single person was like, "Go Rangers!" like that, yeah. and I was just like, "Whoa!" I was like, "Okay," yeah, I was okay. like, "Oh, go Rangers, man!" Yeah. <laughs> and then some and people it, were like, "I'm sorry, but yeah. no, the Astros." Yeah, yeah, and, oh, yeah. wore it in the wrong place. No, because I just happened to buy my jersey at the time when it was the Astros versus the Rangers, which is the huge Texas like battle yeah. between the two baseball teams in Texas. Yeah. And I and so I we I started sitting down at the hotel and actually watching this whole series play out. And I was like, wow, that's so awesome, man. And I actually sat there and I actually really started to like enjoy it and like try and pick up on the rules. I'm still completely like hope like no knowledge whatsoever. Mm. I can I, I know, you know, like yeah, however bases. you spent all day yesterday watching it. Yeah, because I'm trying to pick up on it because yeah. it's the World Series yeah. and the t the place where I just was, it just I don't know. I'm, I'm, I guess I could call myself a Rangers fan now because it happens so organically. Yeah. It just happens. So I didn't mean to, I didn't pick the team that's going to the world series. We picked I had no idea for the rodeo night. I bought my Rangers Jersey before I even knew that they were in that, uh, in that battle with the Astros. Yeah. And I was just like, okay, that's it. Okay. I'll, I'll be a Rangers fan. Sure. Um, and I just love it. How it just says Texas across the front. It's yeah. so cool. Um, and then, so yeah, I'm, I guess I'm just going to follow the Rangers for now yeah. and see how it goes yeah. and maybe follow Otani wherever he goes to. Cause I think he's leaving the Angels. Is he? Yes. Yeah, we went so. to a rodeo. We went to the Fort Worth stockyards. Oh uh, yes. And it was cool. It Actually, no, it wasn't, it wasn't a, rodeo. a rodeo. We thought it was a rodeo. It was, it was, a, it was just yeah, bull riding. It was just but it was still riding. really cool. Yeah. So yeah. we still had to film our rodeo video. Hard out. We still <laughs> haven't done a rodeo. We thought we were going to go for a rodeo and we never did it. Yeah. Um, 
was everything more or less expensive than you thought? Someone asked. It was more. Uh, yes, it was. It was way more. It was a lot more expensive. Sorry, uh, let, let me try go up and see what we got here. Hang on, another one. Uh, Sean, did we try Tex-Mex? No, unfortunately, and thank you so much. But no, it was one of the ones that we did not get to try. Unf we wanted uh, I, to. Yeah, we really wanted to. Um, thank you, Sweet Song. Happy to see my favourite American, uh, I mean New Zealand family. <laughs> <laughs> He's also part of our Patreon, remember? Oh, okay, uh, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yes. Good to see you again. Yes. Thanks for joining. Um, Gravis, thank you so much. Uh, William from Patreon. Oh, wow. A lot of Patreon members showing up. Oh, wait, no, he's actually talking to William from Patreon. Oh, that's, no, that's him. Oh, okay. He's announcing who he is. Yeah. That's so weird. His an hour-long conversation with the lady who ran the hotel in Bluff in Queensland, me about ministry, uh, had long conversation with Bellboy in Christchurch, long convos in Taup uh, oh, Taupo. Oh, wow. we're in Taupo. Okay, right so, now. no, he's saying that Kiwis are very talkative. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. gotcha. We, no, we are talking we can once be. you get talking to us, but in, yeah. in supermarket situations, in everyday situations, everyday, like rubbing uh, shoulders with others, we don't just. But we're not we're not cold like slabs of concrete. No, it, but just when you compare it to the US, yeah, it's on a whole other level. Well, we didn't realize how cold we were until we went to the US. You know, yeah, 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 exactly, <laughs> and I was exactly. Like, Gosh, it opened our eyes. We never uh, leave an oh elevator my goodness. and say have a great day. No, I, but I would like I would leave an elevator thinking like you know what I was like that felt good. Yeah. I was like, it's actually okay to just say, you like, guys you know, need to teach us. have a conversation with people and stuff. We but need to be way more friendly to each other. It's actually really cool. Yeah. Um, Tyler, thank you so much. You're right about Miami Key West area. I live in between Lakeland and Orlando, Lakeland probably, and there's Hispanic population further up the state, so to speak. Yeah, the, we've, yeah we found a lot of them there. Even the workers, everybody. Like, weed is so what many keeps us all happy. Hispanic people. <laughs> I guess the weed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> nah, they, I'm sure the people that we saw every day weren't quite that happy. <laughs> uh, so people are talking about baseball now. They're all saying like "Go Cubs" and "Go Diamondbacks." Yeah, everyone's saying yeah. the Astros are cheaters. What? Oh wow! Did you read that? That's uh, that's controversial. That's a serious. Did you all try In and Out Burger? Yes, yes, we, yes did. we did. Oh, yes, we did. Yes, we did. Was the last fast food? It was the last day. I know. It was before we boarded a flight we're, and went home. We're thirty-six people away from four thousand. Oh, oh no! Yeah, thirty-six people. Um, thank you, Christina. Uh, will you come visit Minnesota next time you come? I hope so. I, I, Minnesota, I don't know if it'll be next time, but it's definitely going to be a time. We could catch up with our mates, Libby and Michael. Boxing. Oh, yeah, we know some Kiwis there. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, oh, double, double. They're talking about, like, monster fry, monster monster burger. Yeah. With, no, with animal, animal burger. Oh, animal burger, animal that's right. Burger. Yeah. 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 We need to go to a dude ranch, okay? Yeah. We need to we try, try Tex Mex. What is he doing? It sounds like he's like <laughs> murdering. Probably him. finding more. Drop food. a block of concrete on the floor. Did you get to try New York pizza? <clears throat> yes. Yeah. Yes. John's Definitely. of Bleaker Street. Just John's of Bleaker. That wasn't me. It was you. Yes, what it was, was happening? It wasn't me. What Thank happened? you, Superfish. Um, what did you all do when you were in Florida? Well, we went to go see some gators. Gators. We went to the Everglades and yep. we got to ride on like a fan boat. Yeah. And we we they... took a ferry and saw all of the famous people's houses. Oh yes, we did that. That blew my mind. But can I just say that the only reason that we were able to see a gator in the wild is because of me. Because you spotted it. Yeah. So the guy parked <laughs> up his boat and the boat was like turned away like this from down looking down the Everglade, and I I was I was like looking at uh, at him while he was talking. And then I, I looked down and I, I looked at down face and I could just see this little black thing. And I was like, because like, sometimes in the Everglades, there's like little like, you know, uh, reeds and like plants and stuff just yeah, sticking out of the water. But, but then I, I started to come across the um, river and I was just like, what's that? And I was like, and, he, and then he quickly stops what he's talking. He's like, good spotting. And then he quickly gets on, <laughs> so starts up both of his V8s that he's sitting next yeah. to. And it's like, like, and he goes, and then yeah. zooms around. And, and we it go, was the only gator we yeah, saw. Yeah, I saw it too. And yeah. we followed the little gator. So yeah. it was actually really cool. It was cool. Speaking um, of baseball, we're speaking at a while ago. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, he's got to bring down all of the. Uh, we got that from the store. Yeah. Um. So somebody said, uh, uh, did we get to see an American anthem, a national anthem? We did. Yes. I feel like it wasn't. We missed so many I opportunities. Know, we, just, we miss them, and we you missed, know what? We missed it at the uh, the Angels game. Yeah. We missed it at the the, the Messi game in New York. The, yeah. The Lionel Messi game. We missed it at the uh, what's another game that we went to? Well, we got it at the um, ball riding. Yeah, but the ball it wasn't. Riding. I feel like there was. We were shocked. We were like, "Why is nobody here?" We thought. This oh was a yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, we thought it was going to be a massive. We event. didn't. It was like a midweek thing that happens every week. We didn't realize. Yeah. We had no idea. Anyway. And there was only one rider from one of the teams. Yeah. From the Rattlers. So we, we thought that it was going to be like this. We big, thought it like, was this big thing, and because we'd watched that series on, we'd watched the series we'd on Netflix. We watched it on Netflix. It was really cool. It was actually all, really cool to all, be there. All and the see different it. teams. Yeah. Um. 
Yeah. Um, so, oh, yeah, we answered Superfish. Thank you so much. Uh, hang on. Oh, I just skipped ahead. Oh, Atlanta is back selling her bracelets. Oh, yeah, she, she, she's going to make some. I made a USA tour one. She's so, got a USA version. It says USA on it. And then I did, like, kind of like a weird, like, a design to show, like, the stripes and then, like, the star. The red, thing. white, Stars and blue. And stripes. Yeah. You, so, should, you should type it in what it's called. Did you all like the MLB game? What was your opinion of baseball? Thank you, Satori. Um, I, I really enjoyed it. The, the only problem, though, is that I felt like we did baseball a disservice because we literally just got off a 12-hour. Here's the thing. Because of Hurricane Hillary, uh, the game that we were supposed to go to on Sunday, because we arrived on a Saturday, okay, the game that was supposed to happen on Sunday. So we were supposed to get to our hotel, have a break, have Relax, a sleep. The, yeah. ne the next day, you know, have a break, like adjust and everything, and then yeah. go to the game and get there way early, you know, film the American anthem, meet up with Edward. That game got cancelled because Hurricane Hillary was hitting on that Sunday. Yeah. And then we um we based and because our flight was also delayed by about an hour, we landed late. Then we ended up spending about three hours in the customs line. Then we spent another mm -hmm. hour in the um car rental line. Then we had another like you know 45 minutes to drive from LA to Anaheim. So we were well late by this time. Mm -hmm. But here's the thing is that the, the game on Sunday was actually pushed. It was split into two games. Yeah. So there were two games that day, one earlier in the afternoon and one in the evening. And I had no idea that the tickets basically just got canceled for the, uh, the yeah. previous game. And then you had to go in and rebook and rebuy the tickets for the next day. Mm -hmm. And I was like, whoa, I was like panicking. I was like, okay, we're not going to get into this game because I was like, surely they would just ass assign. And there was no refund on tickets. No, they, no refund. Just... So they would just assign the tickets to a, a game and just say, hey, you just have to come to this game or that game, or at least give us a choice. Yeah. But it was those tickets were like completely invalid. Yeah. You have to go in and buy new tickets again. Yeah, yeah. So Edward helped us out there and he bought us the tickets and parking yeah. just because we were in such a flap. So again, shout out to Edward for helping yeah, us because yeah. without him, we probably wouldn't have got in there. We wouldn't have. Yeah, but, but we were so unbelievably tired. We were right, like running on like two hours sleep. My eyes were like stinging. So jet lagged. But the food was incredible. And, from the um stadium yeah oh man it was so good yeah but, uh, yeah it, the food was amazing but following the game obviously the angels didn't do that well um oh yeah i'll do it watch me hit like a key to cancel the whole live no and, and, and don't everything. you've done that before i know. It was so bad yeah so i'm actually gonna one for the bracelets i'm working on some like car mirrors that you can hang over your mirrors so if you don't want to buy a bracelet then you can put it on like your like truck. a little thing that hangs from your truck mirror yeah. yeah also so, i'm going to do some christmas ones too so if you're a christmas fan like me so there's a pinned message at the top yeah yeah it keeps um, her busy comment. it's Sorry, really comment. great for her yeah so either comment on one of my posts and i'll reply to you or try and private message me but if that doesn't work then just comment and yeah. after the live i'll try and reply to all of you yeah, yeah. We got she, time, um, it took me a while she basically makes these bracelets you can buy them Custom and or like if you custom have a or team. you can do a USA one. Yeah. Um, and she sends them off and you get like a personalized note and stuff. Yeah. So um, some sometimes the deal. shipping is weird, but I've actually bought some new stuff to try and new shipping. Some method. of the some okay, of the times cool. last time the bracelets didn't turn up. But I always most of them did. Yeah, most of them did just a we few, don't know. But why I did some I did resend them and they did had to resend them. Yeah, but right. it does take like three weeks in the standard post to get there. But has anyway, to cross an ocean. It's yeah. yeah, it's basically it's so good for Atlanta, keeps her busy. She loves making the bracelets. Thank you, Alina. Uh you need to come to a Seattle for a Seahawks game. Uh yes, I do. Yes. Uh, thank you, Roberto. Um, did you guys visit Gatorland in Florida? If not, you should. It's really cool, almost like a real-life Jurassic Park. Wow. No, we didn't, but we definitely want to. That sounds amazing. Uh, thank you, um, McFondle. <laughs> I'm Minnesota as well. <laughs> you should go to Viking game. Um, yeah, definitely. Oh, I want to go. I literally want to go to all the games. All of them. We, we, okay, we, were, we didn't do any, like, sports stuff except for that one game. I know. I know. We needed so to do way we more. we realized that, you know, America is – largely a sports like culture country yeah. and we didn't get that and i feel kind of gutted i know well we're only we're only one flight away guys yeah so we're, we're only, only one, and we've already flight. looked at the flights yeah <laughs> thank you killer gb um you should do a collaboration with mr h and friends another up-and-coming us loving family channel only from england so i think we we i think they were in texas and we only missed them by a couple of weeks yeah um otherwise it would have been cool to meet up um, Paul, aka Common, uh, go Hawks! Uh, yes, indeed. Indeed. Thank you, Crystal. Next time you come to the US, you need to come to St. Louis, Missouri. Yes, yeah. we do. We need to go all the places. Thank you, ML. Do you know what though, Sam? It's going to be tricky to work out where we go from here. Like, yeah. where do we go from here? Uh, a lot. 
No, but a which lot, one? A lot of places. Otherwise, it's like a whole year's worth of, you know. No, I want to do the drive from, like, I want to do, I want to do the West Coast drive, okay? That's just what I, like, that's for me. <laughs> that's really high up. Okay. Because I, I feel like we did, like, a bit, we did two states in the East, uh, East Coast. Yeah. We did one on the West Coast. Yeah. And then we did one in the South. Okay. So I want to do the whole West Coast. And then I want to do some North, too. We can't forget about the North, can I'm we? Not forgetting- There's Michigan. I really want to do Michigan. Big time. I want to do Michigan. Okay. The Great Lakes. Come on. That's like an ocean, but like a lake. Yeah. And then I want to do, like, Minnesota. Oh, like I, I could. I, you could go on. Yeah, I, I might as well just say all the states that we have to in alphabetical order. I know. That's just Somebody crazy. Said, it's crazy. Did you at least have a hot dog at the baseball game? Uh, yes, uh, we did. Yes. Yeah, we did. Yeah. It's, it, it was, was called an angel insane. dog. Insane. Um, thank you, Dan. It was insane. Come to Montana next trip. I live near Glacier National Park. We have part of Yellowstone National Park in the southern part of the state as well. Horseback the, riding. The horseback riding tours really in Glacier to Park. Yeah. Uh, Montana is known as the Texas of the North. Yes, we really Sounds want to like do that. my type of state. Yes. Uh, super fish. Thank you so much. Is Kylo back with you all? Yep, yep. He's right. sleeping. I read, that, I read that as kilos. I was like, yes, the kilos are. Yeah, oh. <laughs> he's, sleep, he's sleeping right down here. Thank you, David. Uh, Branson, Missouri, pink jeeps. Pink uh, jeeps. Thank you. Thank you, Tony. Jet lag is the worst. So much pressure to fill time, but hard to enjoy yourself as a zombie. Yeah. And I second the Minnesota message, land of 10,000 lakes. Yeah. Oh, insane. I would love to do that. Yeah. Also, the other thing that we thought of, we didn't experience um, winter. No. No. And that, I know. Do you know what? If you got little New Zealand family yep. in like a big city oh. where it snows, that would blow our minds. It would be so, We've never seen anything like that. So cold. Like to have snow in a city. Oh, Are you man. kidding me? Yeah, I know. That would just blow my mind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So even coming back in a different um, time of the year. Yeah. Would uh, be insane. Oh, thank you, Beth. Um, <coughs> Beth from Patreon. I feel like you guys should rent an RV and do a great American road trip. They like, yes. Okay. Just yes. I'm just going to say yes yeah. to that. Okay. Just going to say yes. So yes, yes, yes. And let's leave it at that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, man. it's gonna be cool. I want to. Oh, I just want to go. We back. already. I want to go already, back so bad. We've already started saving <sighs> for the next time. My goodness. Wait, I just realized we have more likes than we do people. Yeah, because people come and go. Because people, people do. People, come people and drop go. by, yeah. like, and then yeah, which is nice. Hear about us talking about throw tipping, darts tipping on a map. And leaving. Throw darts on a map. Oh yeah. Yes. Can we do that? <laughs> and, yeah, uh, on an so American fun. map. Yeah. Okay. Yes, and we, we go. To that go. Place. So, yeah. so we, we all get like one dart each. Yeah, and I'm terrible at throwing darts, so it's not going to be. Right. <laughs> so we go. It's really the middle of the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a great idea. Thank you, Christina. Um, love you all, and can't wait for your videos to come. We love you. Yeah. Oh, someone else actually asked, "What's the timeline for the content coming out?" And that's a great question. So basically, um, as you might have seen from while we were away, our upload uh, days are every Wednesday night your time and every Sunday night. Uh, so you get some midweek content and you get some weekend content. Yeah. And um, basically that's, that's, we'll just follow with that upload schedule. Uh, but we're also, we might throw the odd reaction in there, but it's It's basically go, we're going to try and do one US video a week. So you're going to get like, or two, one or two. Mm. So they're going to get, yeah, hopefully you guys get two. So the first one's dropping. But it's a lot of editing. So yeah. the first one dropping is Raising Canes and that is happening this Sunday night coming. Yeah. So in, in a week, exactly for you guys. In exactly a week is the first one dropping, and then it's on from there. Sam's got to be editing. Like, yeah. He's going to be sitting right where you see him right now oh, man. for hours. And it's a lot <laughs> more work editing a, a trip lot. like this than what we normally were producing at home. Yeah. So making videos at home, Yeah. the editing time is a little bit less. Yeah. But, ma- but editing actual footage and trying to make it really exciting and fun. Somebody said, when are you guys going over to Europe? Massively more work. We went. I know. We already did that. We yeah. already did Europe. We did Europe. So we're only talking about, um, oh, I, I was going to talk about also my favorite food in Europe. Yeah. So for this guy, it was obviously pizza and pasta. Yeah. He absolutely loved it. Yeah. Every day. But it was so funny. If you go to Italy, if you travel to Italy, you'll probably know the whole grind of food where you're like, wait, was my last meal p- uh, pizza, pizza or pasta? <laughs> No, it was pasta, so I have to go pizza now. And then the next day you wake up and it's like, wait, what did I have for dinner last night? Oh, it was pasta. Okay, p- and then we'd pizza say, for lunch today. I'm pasta tonight. Yeah, and it was and it was about trying all these different types of pizzas and pastas. And but everything. then you like alternate. It was actually really cool. Yeah. But my favorite meal the whole trip in Europe was in, uh, I think I'm going to say Switzerland. That, oh. night, that night that me and you went out. So we got this incredible food and it was so good. Like um, your chicken came out on fire. <laughs> Literally, like the plate was served and it was like on fire. Yeah. And we were just like, 
I was like, what? We've never had this before. It, yeah. was, it was like it was like roasting on your plate. I know. It was I so cool. Well. Yeah. Um, Jennifer, thank you so much. Much love from Las Vegas. Come over and we will find a restaurant to lease for Atlanta to run. Yes, and someone wow. said Christmas in New York. That sounds Please. like a plan. Please, can I do Christmas in New York? Do you know what I keep saying to Sam? Yeah. I was like, you know, you know that Christmas. time that you were going to like surprise me? I'm just going to wake up one day and you, you're going to be like, pack your suitcase. And I'm going to be like, no. Yeah. You know how <laughs> women always play out these scenarios? Yeah, yeah. And, and I'm like, no. And you're going to be like, yeah, we're going to Christmas for, for New York. I mean, New York for Christmas. Thank you, BB. Um, you need to experience a Michigan football game known as the Big House of College Football and over 100,000 fans every game. It is a blast. Okay, Sam, remember we drove past the college football arena and you were like, Thank we, you, were like I we know. haven't oh, even done college football. Every time we saw us like a big sports stadium, I was just like, I want to go there so I bad. I want to go to a college football game that's just like, going off and i want to like choose a team and just absolutely scream on the sidelines i know them. man oh, that's man. what i want to do i want to get like fully into it i want to join the cheerleaders thank you brooke <laughs> um you guys should come to utah at winter we have been dubbed the greatest show on earth wow that sounds amazing okay and, that, and that's just like the views um, the nature yeah well wow. i want somewhere with lots of christmas lights and lots of snow yeah Thank you, Andrew. Um, I'm from Massachusetts and there's a plenty to do here. But if you want scenery, might uh, I suggest the mountains in New Hampshire. Ooh, lovely. Uh, my life is Sarah. Thank you so much. You should get an RV and come for a year and drive around and see everything. I know. That might be the, I know. That might be the plan. It could be the plan. Um, whatever. Thank you so much. <laughs> Agreed with Brooke. Visit Park City while in Utah. Yes. Yeah. So we've got a few YouTubers who we follow who live in Park City. Yeah. Uh, mostly car YouTubers. And, and it stuff. looks incredible. Uh, the, and the scenery is so incredible. Yeah. Like amazing. Yeah. Um, what do we got here? What else? What oh, else? Thank you, Sam. Um, hope that you guys get to visit Lincoln, Nebraska, home of the world record women's outdoor sporting event. Mm. Wow. Wow. Um, someone said. So we... many people asking about Bucky's. Guys, I know. we didn't get to it. We, we will. We will get to we Bucky's one get day. To it. We have to. Yeah. I want to do Bucky's. We especially we didn't even to. stop it in a small Bucky's because we want to do the biggest Bucky's. Yeah. So we just avoided it all together. I know. I wanted want... to get a little snack. He wanted to stop. We're like, before. no, we're not and stopping. And then mom's just like, no, we're not getting anything from Bucky. Because <laughs> yeah. we have to do it properly. Yeah. It's it has like, to be like I've a first. I've already tried that before. We, it has no. to be a, a, like a, a regular, like, yeah. it has to be a first impression that's real. No, and we never went into Bucky, so we didn't We've even know We've never still been into a Bucky. You have no and idea what they have. We have to capture it on, mm. like, it has to be genuine. Yeah, I know. Yeah. We'll get We'll get there. We'll definitely get there. Bucky's is a must. Yeah. Um. Park City, uh, yeah, it's more of a seasonal town. We'll go, we'll go there in a good uh, okay. season. Yeah. Um, yeah. Somebody said you save on the hotel bills, pill, hotel bills, but pay in gasoline with an RV. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, big time. True. Yeah. True. Uh, but actually, I found the gas in uh, America much cheaper than here. Yeah. Much it, cheaper. The, it, it was I the food it was that almost surprised us. Half the price, actually. Yeah, it was just the food that surprised us. Yeah, but also remember, we have to import like almost everything. You know, all of our gas, all of our oil, and we probably buy it off like I don't know. I don't know if we buy it off the US or not. No, um, thank you. Go blue. Uh, if you do the big house, I have four ticks. You can uh, come in October and see the color on the trees and Mackinac Island. What's the big house? I th is that the one in Michigan? I think he was talking about just oh, before, yes, yes, 100,000 yes. people. Yeah, yeah, oh wow. man, that would be so amazing. Oh, so people cool. are saying we should go see the Ohio Buckeyes Stadium. And wow. Another, another 100,000 seater. Yeah, far out. Uh, Matthew, thank you so much. I would love to get you guys a recipe for Central Illinois signature dish, the horseshoe sandwich. I'm sure the ingredients are available in New Zealand. It's a cheese lover's dream. Um, send us an email. Yeah. So if you just go into any of our videos on YouTube and look down in the description box, our email is there. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> favorite meal in the USA. So we went through that earlier. Yeah. But just a quick little uh, <laughs> recap. Yeah. Texas barbecue. New York pizza. Triple A, in and out. Oh, so a bit of a yeah, bit of a uh, yeah. nice variation there. Yeah, and all got different tastes. Yes. Uh, so thank you, Beth. Beth, again, did you play the lottery while in America? And does New Zealand have lottery, or was this something that caught you off guard? So uh, we don't play the lottery, but it does. They do have it in New Zealand. Yeah, yeah. So they do. They have. Uh, they have it here. No, we didn't play it in America either. No. So I'm sure it's a lot of money though. Even if we did, I don't think we'd even qualify, right? Yeah, I don't know, maybe. Thank you, Cos. Ohio State, Michigan, go Bucks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's some fighting Disney words. Was so cool. Hello from Irvine, California. What part of OC were you uh, were you in, and how did you like Disneyland? Go Angels. Yeah. Um, thank you, SoCal. Yeah, so we were in Anaheim, 
and we uh we if we had a bit more time we would have gone down to like the actual oc like laguna beach and stuff yeah. just, just to have a look around i really wanted it. to see that see all the surfers and everything yeah. like that would have been really cool but remember sam was actually really sick yeah i got um super sick. so a few things that we wanted to do we actually couldn't and some things i had to do on my own with the kids yeah so that he was sick the last day or so of um california and the first few days of new york yeah yeah so care comfort <laughs> thank you so much again need a reality tv series of your new zealand family travels and atlantis kitchen yes, tv show that would be so cool <laughs> I was say, okay i was saying that to sam yeah when we were going around like it's a like to experience it and also film it yeah. is actually quite a lot of hard work i was like um wouldn't it be cool if we just had someone filming us yeah i know and yeah, then we, we could just crew. genuinely walk around experiencing yeah. it for the first time yeah and instead of having to, you know, try and swap the cameras, yeah, and like, exactly. You know, like it would be so cool. Even if, even setting up for like as sitting down and eating food. Yeah, we had to set up the camera, we, walk, walk back around. So we'd get check, there, check that it was framed. It took so much longer yeah, than if somebody was just sitting the there table, helping us out. So we'd have to make sure the kids were okay if people were actually there. Yeah. Um, try and find places that were a little bit out of the way where the sound wasn't, you know, music playing in the restaurants, all these kinds of things. Yeah. Um. We were thinking, man, this would be so cool if we just got followed around with some of the camera and we could just <laughs> genuinely thank, chat. Thank you, Dan. Winter rolled in and slapped Montana in the face this week. Some parts of Montana already have over 12 inches of snow and the temperatures are falling below zero degrees Fahrenheit. Already a local college uh, football box coming from Montana incoming. Oh, wow. Whoa. Awesome, man. Thank you. Wow. Thank you so much. That's so cool. Well, I, I, yeah, someone I, said, why am I looking at laundry? a great question yeah this is holiday laundry and and a bed full of travel stuff that we haven't yeah. really unpacked yet yeah don't worry you, like, don't have, you don't have there's to no undies on there don't worry it's all football shirts that can't go through the dryer i'm like it's all things that couldn't go through the dryer <laughs> problem no, fixed. Right. i'll cover it yeah no. we, look we don't we don't uh we don't there's no pretenses here what you yeah. see is what you get no including, judge including our laundry no judging thank you tim how much total weight did you all gain from eating all the food in that's america that's a great question so i don't know in pounds, i know how much i gained i probably gained about 10 kgs i gained so 4 I kgs know. yeah that i yeah it was denzi probably gained about denzi three or four yep he, well, yeah. I, we're, both, we're both growing. I think I gained we're, my... But she's like, well, we're both growing. I, 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 I'm growing too. I gained my growing weight. Yeah. No, <laughs> yeah. kids don't really count because, you know, they grow up and out like this. We just... Yeah. Oh, man. It looks like it, it looks like it's getting quite... It looks like it's getting quite cold in different places. Tonight. Yeah. So, yeah, but we're working hard at um, yeah. cleaning up our diet and just... So, it looks like I, I might have got to like... Uh... Oh, 4,000 likes. Are you kidding me? Wow. Nice. Wow. Yeah, about 20 pounds, which is quite a bit. That's quite a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Yeah. It was crazy. Yeah. I just realized we're almost at an hour and a half. I know. I know, guys. What? That time is flying And do you past. know what? Do you know what's good about the podcast? Because, you know, we've got a lot of chats. We've got a lot of chats that need to come out. Yeah. Is that if you guys find certain things of what we talk about boring then you can just skip it on the podcast or you can listen in. Yeah. So, so we're, we're going to go through into detail on a whole bunch of podcasts. Yeah, we're really going to get into detail. And we, uh, uh, the biggest thing that I want to talk about that's fascinated me because we did um, America and Europe. And for me, it was the first time. Yeah. Um, is food culture. Yeah. The difference in food culture Big between time. New Zealand, America and Europe, all very different. And I want to like delve into that and chat about it because I was talking to my hairdresser, friend and she's not been to Europe I don't think she's been to Europe I don't even know if she's been to America she might have yeah but just talking she was asking about that and I was talking about the difference between food culture how much you eat at what time you eat you know all that yeah, kind of yeah, stuff yeah it's so different I know um between different places yeah and it's fascinating yeah, yeah. I know it's um, insane oh yes. wow I'm still used to the uh American time I'm quite tired also, yeah, I know. Yeah. We get some, tired at night. We're quite tired. Some people are asking in the comments where to order a bracelet. The pinned comment. Yeah, at the very top. Yeah, that's yeah. an Instagram handle. And if you look it up, then you can then you can yeah. order. If yeah. it doesn't allow you to send a private message, just comment on my latest post. So can you tell them how much the bracelets are? So, so this is a special USA bracelet? Yeah, so it will be like between $16 and $18, including shipping to the US yeah, for a bracelet. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, uh, USA themed, or you can or have anything. a custom one, or yeah. you can, your, your favorite team. Have yeah. a look at yeah. what All she's got. And I'm also going to be making some Karma ones, like I said, and also a Christmas themed one. And we we love this for Atlanta because it keeps USA. her so busy, and she sits there and she's got you know 
lots to do and she gets her orders out. It's such a great um, little experiment for her, lots of learning. Yeah. So um, it's really good. Yeah, check it out. So thank Mike. you to those who have already bought bracelets yes. before we left. Mm -hmm. It was massively helpful to Atlanta, and she just loved it. Like, they're very durable. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, she Sarah. She does a test on them before they yeah. go. Um, yeah. Come to Ohio. It's awesome. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah. Superfish. Oh, hang on. I just skipped. Uh, Superfish, thank you so much. When you plan your trip up the Pacific Coast Highway, rent a large van or something maneuverable like that. There are a lot of sharp turns and turnoffs along the way. You'll love it. The scenery is amazing. Yeah. Oh, we've my we've heard a lot about it. Definitely. Yeah. Um, thank you, Cos. Do you guys have a video about visiting New Zealand? Denzel is being very well behaved. Someone noticed. Yeah, <laughs> he is. Um, what did you guys miss about being um, home? Oh, what did we? Sam. Our bed. Thank you, Sam. Yeah. Oh, the yes. bed. Oh my god. The <laughs> first. Oh, the first night we got back, it was just like dead. Like we had the best yeah. sleep we'd had all I, nine okay, weeks. Okay, can I just say I something like about the mattresses in Europe? Gone. I was absolutely the mattresses in out. Europe. It's like they sleep on bricks. I know they're crazy. Yeah. Oh, like, European what? beds, man. European beds are not yes. where it's at. No. What? Yes, Denzel. I haven't even slept in a bed. I know. Oh, yeah, because his bed, Jesse's his room's been sleeping getting, on the couch. Yeah, ready. It's getting fixed. Because his room's getting I'm renovated. If you want to see the now. renos and everything, guys, go and follow um our Instagram. Yeah. Because I'm going to be sharing a lot more renovations, Christmas stuff. If you're into Christmas, oh. follow oh, yeah. me. Um, I'm also going to be <laughs> uploading some content from our trip. You'll notice that basically everything came to a standstill because I want to upload content on Instagram at the same rate that we're releasing it on YouTube. Yes. So um, as things get released on YouTube, I'm going to be updating our Instagram with photos. So if you want to see a whole bunch of photos, yeah. your New Zealand family on Instagram, go and check it out because lots is going to be happening over there. Yes. Behind the scenes. Um, thank you. Behind the scenes, I'm actually releasing on Patreon. So that's a whole different thing. The actual videos we took from our Instagram trip, they're, they're becoming like a... a, a so all of the stories that I took on Instagram... Yeah. That were being shared just with our family and friends. Video I'm going format. to be making them into short videos. They're called behind the scenes of our trip. Yeah. It's not stuff that we filmed on the camera. No. It's not food it's tastings. It's separate to the YouTube. Completely different. And I'm going to be releasing that on Patreon. Yeah. So as I'll a, be as making, a thank you to the members there. Yeah. So I'll just yeah. be making short films and they might even be voice overlaid because a lot of them is just me filming the yeah. kids and what they're doing. So maybe voice overlaid, edited down and explaining what we did day by day when we were there. Um, thank you, Sarah. I would be down to help you with filming and planning. What's the time difference between you and USA? So it's, obviously there's lots of different time zones in the USA, yeah. but I think uh, we're about seven hours behind New York City, but a day ahead. Yeah. So that's pretty much how it is. Oh, wait, is it? No. Yes. Wait, yes, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, seven hours. My mind is just like this at the moment. So I think I'm having like a bad jet lag. Basically day. 17 hours ahead. I can't even think straight. Oh, yeah, the, kids started, the, the kids started their schoolwork this morning and oh. Denzi's like, hey, I need help. What's this? And I was like, um, I have no idea. <laughs> John, what was each of your favorite items that you bought in America? Oh, great question. Oh. I'm going to go and get it and show them. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yes. Go and get it. Okay. Oh, and then get your items. Get I, your items. I, I was wearing mine. Yeah. This is my favorite item. Oh, that's the bracelet. This While one. they're getting their items, here's the bracelet. What was your favorite item? Um, What was my favorite item? Oh, I know my favorite item. Should in, I go and get it? In America, yeah. Yeah, go. I'll go and get it. Okay. Okay. I'll just leave you to talk with the... Oh, let's, 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 let's do Denzi's one. Okay, wait. Okay. Yeah. So this one's from Disneyland. It's Denzi's obvious one. now. Yeah, okay, um, go. Watch out, Atlanta. Go, Denz. Oh. Denzi's doing it. Ooh. He chose the dark side. He chose to make a red lightsaber. My favorite color is red, so. That's pretty cool. It's one of those ones that you build. Like, you actually go in and, like, assemble and stuff like that. It was, it was a really cool experience. I went in with him and saw the whole thing. Oh, my God. It we was so much fun. Nine okay. Nine weeks. Guys, yeah. can, can you guys guess what it is? I nearly dropped mine, which would have been absolutely devastating. You would have witnessed me cry in real time. Oh, um, yes. That's right. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Can you guess what mine is? What can I guess what yours is? Yeah. Um, from uh, from America. Yeah. No, I can't. Oh, yes, 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 yes. It's exclusive to Disneyland Pandora. I got a mini charm. She collects for my Pandora bracelet. Wait, I want to tell them what Air Force means because, like, why not? Okay. Um, okay. Um, so this kangaroo, I got this when I was like five. Eh? Don't break my one. So I've had it for like nearly nine years. I, I got it for her fifth birthday. Yeah, so it's been nearly nine so years. So she collects little charms. So this was when we went to Australia. This is for when we bought um, this house. This is just my name. This is for the hearts for my guinea pig. Um, this is for church. And then this is 
when I was home. Can you not? <laughs> this is when we bought our RV. This is when we went to the South Island. This is when I had my um, stars and moon birthday party. This is when we got Kylo. When we hit 100,000 subscribers. It's a um, YouTube play button. On, your, on YouTube. This is enough. And then this is when we went to Disneyland. And then like a chili for um, <laughs> Italy Trump's because fishing. there was just the chilies. Okay, guys. Yeah. We're trying to like sit down because it's show and tell. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This is yeah. This Should is we carry one. on? <laughs> Does anyone want to see mine? No. Yeah. Oh, did I just show them by mistake? I just showed them by mistake. No. Wait. Okay. We should go see what the thing. Really? Is. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Ready? Wait. Let's put these away. Great collection, Atlanta. Okay. Here we go. Thank you. And by the way, these are glass. I bought them back. Oh, Where am I going? I bought them back from oh. Fort Worth, Texas. They are Christmas decorations. <laughs> of course, this is my favorite. Someone said I'm watching the lightsaber battle way more interesting. <laughs> <laughs> True. Okay. Look at these. They're glass. And they're they're called Nine Glass Christmas Tree Ornaments, yeah. Vintage American 1940s. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Look how beautiful they are. <laughs> oh my gosh, obsessed. Look. I said I picked them up and I was like, I really want these. And I was like, Sam, I've got to have them. <laughs> He's like, Fine. I gotta have them. So yeah, that was my favorite purchase, and it's going on our Christmas tree this year. So if you follow me on Instagram, you're gonna see the end result of the Christmas tree. Judy's a Christmas is... ornament addict. <laughs> I'm an addict. Even the um, even the uh, the box looks like retro. Too. I know. I'm oh. just retro. like, come on, people. It looks so cool. It is so. They're going all on our Christmas tree. Anyway, Look. that's it. That's mine. This is this is the dark table when it's not on. Ooh. I get it. Anyway, have we bored everyone <laughs> to tears? Probably. Yeah, they're all like, you're okay. You're um, so thank you, Blackbird. Um, our inflation is out of control, causing a massive rise in prices as well, and some businesses are definitely taking advantage of the situation. Yeah, that's sad. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah. Uh, perpetual nerd. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I want one of Atlanta's bracelets for the missus. Yes. Oh, yeah. okay, so just give her a message. Look at, the, look at the pinned comment and the Instagram handle is there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then if the private messaging doesn't work, then just comment on a video and then I'll. Yeah, definitely. Um, thank you, Roberto. Uh, better lightsaber jaw choreography than the sequels. <laughs> what? Uh, I get what? it. Than the sequels. And oh, a, right. a lot of people don't like the sequels movies. So oh, okay. Maybe that should be re-released. Oh, there's ads right now running. What? Oh, this really? The bottom, oh, okay. Yeah, that can happen from time to time. There's an ad running right now. Yeah. Yeah. It just happens. Can they hear us? No, they just, oh, it, it comes back into where we were. Huh. Yeah. That's so weird. I know. Um, That's YouTube for you. Yeah, so um, heaps of you are finding us on Instagram, so that's really cool. Uh, yeah. I'm going to put this away before I lose it. So anyway, yeah, that was show and tell. That was fun. Biscuits and, uh, and oh, gravy. The... Biscuits and gravy. Wait, did, we didn't have biscuits yes, and gravy. Yes, we did. Over there. Where? At Popeye's. There was, was no Popeyes? gravy. No, which one did we have the the biscuits and gravy? I there was no biscuits no, and gravy. No, it was a sweet one. I, yeah. I had it. It was a sweet one. Yeah. I had biscuits and Biscuits and gravy yeah. at the free breakfast. Oh, yeah, yeah he right. did. He yeah. did. That's right. The kids had it. Yeah, yeah that's right. No, we right. had a sweet one. I and, and we realized that the biscuits are so different. Yeah, I know. To oh, what man. we had. Yeah. I know. They, got, they had dessert biscuits dessert at Popeyes. Biscuits and gravies. Yeah, like, at Popeyes. Bits of like strawberry. And, it was so good. Like, icing and stuff like that. Yeah, it was really good. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah. Um, um, Gen Z, he hates that. We've talked Gen's, about this. Gen Z, don't. Don't, you'll give him anxiety. Don't be mean. Also, can you get your can you get your booger off the top of it, please? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I just did just before. Oh, what? Okay. <laughs> the moment I'm live, I'm 999 followers on my business oh, account. Wow. Oh, can who's get, gonna be the 1,000th follower? Can we get her? Uh... Someone follow her on Sugar Snap Shop. <laughs> sugar Snap Shop. Sugar Snap. We should make up an ad for her. Sugar snap, sugar snap. Okay, never mind. Guys, <laughs> shout out to Natalie Hoff, a my 1,000th follower. Natalie, are you here? Yes. Wow, that's awesome. Natalie Hoff. Um, Doing all caps. <coughs> Doing all caps. Oh, look there, here. Natalie Hoffman, that's me. Yay! Yay! Yes, Natalie! Yes! Everyone give a thumbs up. To the 1,000th. Yeah. Well, now everyone... That's so good. Guys, go and follow her. It makes it very happy. Look. <gasps> Ready? Look at it. Show them, show them it. Oh my gosh. Show them did it. Just, did it just guys, give you a congrats? Guys, everyone go and follow Atlanta. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Someone said, Dens, I am your father. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. It keeps going. That's so cool, guys. Nice. 
Good Thank job, guys. You. Please keep Atlanta busy. She gets. She needs to do stuff with her hands. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> she made me something. No, it's true. She gets. Yeah, she needs to. Thank you, Stephen. She's a girl that needs to be busy. Um, next trip, try to avoid the big cities and theme parks for the yeah. national monuments and small towns. More, uh, more memorable and uh, rewarding. Um, uh, by the way, red states are conservative and blue states are liberal. Okay, so that's another concept we don't have here as well. No, we don't. We don't have like we don't have areas like areas that have got different political stuff. Yeah, I mean, maybe to a slight, it's slight. Hardly, but not really. Not really. Um, you'll find like one city is like probably split down the middle and stuff. Free like bracelet for Natalie. There you go. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Natalie, you sent me a message. Congrats, and I'll give you Natalie. Yeah, bracelet. Congrats, Natalie. Also, Natalie. Free bracelet. I think I'm gonna do a little giveaway. Look, like a thousand. Yeah. Look, look at the detailing on And the this. giveaway winner is it's Natalie. Instagram. <laughs> Denzi actually built this. And this is like heavy, like metal. Can we talk about dragging that thing around the world? Oh, yes. Because I'm scared. So we, we, oh, man. And the amount of times we got like okay. called up but at customs. The reason that we had it is because we thought that it could fit into our suitcase like this, right? We, but this turned out to be way too long. And so we had to carry it in this like foam package the whole trip. We bought this in day two of a nine and a half week trip. Yeah. And, then, and we oh, hauled man. that thing around yeah. through every customs, every like, and they, and it obviously looked like a weapon. La, la, la. You know, like some people were like, oh, why can you give this oh. to me? And others were like, um, what is this? Yeah. And then do you remember the police that came up to us? And then we said, it's a lightsaber. And he's like, oh, cool. Because we thought, you know, because everyone, oh, by the way, and that's when the war started and security Might started to like talk. Tighten up. Oh, we yeah, had that's every right. single bag opened and gone yeah. through when uh, the oh. day after, and you know, like they would look at that lightsaber and just be they like, they were looking mm. at like, pardon. They're like, are you really lights? Are you yeah. really a Star Wars fan? Yeah. You know, the security was like, okay, well then, like, what what did Yoda say to Luke <laughs> in Episode Four <laughs> when he came out of the swamp? And you're and like, I, I was like, Ooh. and they're like, nah, uh. it's a gun. It's definitely a gun. He doesn't know. <laughs> More training you need. And Do I you like, know it? <laughs> no, I don't know. Well, you made like... up the question. <laughs> anyway, we go. Yeah, you know, like, did you know that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so gullible. Anyway, we that was that was embellished. But anyway, it yeah. did look dodgy, it and we had to I we know. had to like carry that thing so long. Yeah, I know. Yeah, from from <laughs> the first flight within yeah our travels, we carried that thing. We and had because it's, we had a few tall. meltdowns with it. Yeah, because it's you tall. did. Yeah, because I was it was ten dollars and he never carried it. Yeah, I know. Well, the, he had an excuse of, oh my gosh, it's too long. Okay, guys, go, yeah, no yeah, one's around. That is true though. Okay, like, every no time one, he was carrying it, it was like dragging on the ground, yeah, he was like too hitting short. everything. He's it, he wasn't tall enough to carry no it. No one has asked if we had any like emotional breakdowns. Oh yeah, uh, does someone want to ask that? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that we can basically just say that it was pretty normal family stuff. Like yeah, you, you have your good yeah. days, you have your good days and you have your bad days. Oh my gosh, some days. So everybody's asking, it's everybody keeps saying, what is the channel for Atlanta's bracelets? It's, oh, it's an it's, Instagram. it's not a website and it's not a channel on YouTube. It's, it's Instagram. Instagram. Show them. Show them, the I'll Instagram. Show them. So if you look at the pinned comment at the top, that's got her Instagram. You should page. link it. You should put the link. Sure. I don't know if you can. You no. can because he doesn't have an Instagram. Yeah. This uh, is, guys, this is the Instagram. Wait. Oh, that's very bright. Put it closer to the camera. There. There we go. Snap. That's what it looks like. Can they see it, though? Look at your face. <laughs> <laughs> don't! Like, Snapchat. Yeah, that's what it looks like, Sugar Snapchat. That's what the, the front thing looks like. Yeah, shout out to Natalie. Sugar and dot. Anyway, it's it's pinned. Sugar yeah. dot snap dot shop. That could dot. be the thing. Sugar yeah. dot. Okay. Okay, you can sing no, it. If you really want to no, you, don't, it, you, 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 don't, you don't want my the hate theme song. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, I was going to talk about the um the ads, but anyway, we'll do, we're not going to give it all oh, away. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> what, what, what we saw on TV. Yeah, I know. It's crazy, eh? There's heaps to come, guys. Yeah. <clears throat> all right, guys. I think we have just, we've gone almost two um, hours. Kevin's just asked a really important question. What Kevin is it? Rose. Did you have any emotional breakdowns? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Kevin, I can't believe you asked that. But, so, um, so Kim yes. Kimberly said, we know Sam cried. Well, he did. Yeah. He did. I, I did. He did. Because I had to leave. Yeah. And I didn't want to. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there was a few breakdowns. Yeah. yeah. It was just like, it was pretty intense, honestly. Oh, someone asked, John asked, hey, Sam, how did your stomach handle the American food? Great question. Funnily enough, it was like, I, I don't know why. But I know why. <laughs> 
Oh, you know what? Because you were taking those. Oh digestive, yeah, I was taking some special digestive, digestive enzymes. And over the time, even if I was eating like you know, like Popeyes, Fries. and Chick Fil A, and like all the stuff, like you know, bre- hotel breakfast, like waffles, and, and all of that, that stuff is categorically it got better the worst and better and better. thing that you can give yeah. a struggling stomach. I know. He's come back with almost pretty much nothing. Nothing. Like gone. Yeah. But, so we are so thankful. Yeah, and it, it got better and better as it was probably about like London, around London, where everything started to get really much better. Yeah. Yeah. And um, so that's kind of towards the end of our trip. Yeah. But um, we're obviously, as you guys can imagine, on a bit of a health binge now. Yeah. Um, trying to like detox and, you know, I know. Get, us, get us some health foods. I know. Oh, the amount of cars in America, eh, Dens? Oh, yeah. Denzi loves the cars. Yeah, he's pointing out all the cars, yeah. like, uh, you know, like old challenges and charges yeah. and. Yeah. Oh, man. Toby Mu- thinks I'm fun. Mustangs. <laughs> I am. Yeah. <laughs> And Especially when I get tired. <laughs> Where is Zed Bear? I think he's upstairs. Yeah. Oh, he's in, no, he's in the garage. I'm going to go grab him. You put oh, our no. prize position in don't, the garage? Don't go on the bed, though, Dan. That's where all the camera gears. Um, No, because we actually had family and friends staying in our house while we were gone. They were coming yeah. to use it. Because we live in a holiday destination, so an empty house was like a big yes. Oh, people. here's a good question. Yeah. Um, Sam Eisenman, um, what for, I just realized that you can love the Super Chats. You can heart them. Sorry, guys. This whole the, time. Are you kidding me? What? Are you, you kidding me? No. Kiwi. I'm okay, so sorry. Sam. How dare you not love yeah. our people? Thank you, Sam. Sorry. What foods did you miss from home? Uh, Sushi. Vegetables. <laughs> yeah, all the healthy options, basically. Vegetables. There were so many um, uh, healthy options here. Like, as soon as you got back, there's, like, tank. Like, there's salads. There's smoothies. There's all... There. I found it really hard to try and find that stuff over yeah. there. Um, and you guys do do salads? Do do. Do do salad. No, but um, you guys do salads. It's mainly a Caesar salad. Here we have like vegetable salad. You know, we have Thai we, chicken we, salad. Like we do a lot. Yes, of I know. You guys need tank in America. You guys need yeah. tank. No, but some states. I know some places in um, America, like Minnesota. I know that because I follow someone on Instagram that lives there. They have like these salad bars. It's just it's just where yeah, we yeah. went. We weren't able to access it. I know you do have it. I know. Wow. Um, thank you, John. There is a route you can take uh, in an RV that'll take you through all the lower 48 and do your best to stay out of uh, politics over here. It's very decisive and it's not funny. No. Okay. We want to stay fun. Yeah. Yeah, we, we want to stay fun. We want to be funny. Yeah. And fun. <laughs> and and loving and lovable. <laughs> Wait, it's only been two hours. I know. Oh, th- is, look, look. We're having too much fun. Thank you, Geek Chorus. Heart. Thank you. Th- thanks for I can't the- believe you haven't hearted people more. <laughs> I know. Thanks for uh, for all the entertainment you bring us. You all rock. Dens is a natural born comedian. Did you notice <laughs> any places where people were kinder and ruder at other places? Let me just start off by saying mm. Americans aren't rude. I don't think no. we, I don't think in our experience you could say anyone was rude. Yeah. Um, because it's it, not really in your name. Kind of except for that lady that remember. Person. Nah, but well, even then she was she was a really nice person when she was serving. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Remember um, on a few live streams ago they said. You you should hop in the bear. Oh yeah, oh, he has not stopped the, talking about do the, the moving height. bear. Look, prank. He really wants to do We don't I want know. to ruin the bear though. It's basically exactly the same. Thank, yeah. thank you, Kevin. Do, do we get to an air show? No, but no. that's another video we need to film. Yeah, I want to see like all the jets and everything. A really cool thing though is that we were um, driving out of Key West, and just after leaving Key West, all these jets were all like circling around us and then yeah. coming down to land. Yeah, it was cool. Like right next to where we were driving. Sorry, I was just reading something about the salads, and I just want to circle back. Cool. Let's just circle back. Yeah. So one thing America does really well, which we don't do so well here, is fruit. Oh, fruit yes. cups. Yeah. Why can't we just buy fruit cups here? I know. You can't. Guys. But in America, you can buy fruit cups everywhere. And the, yeah. fruit, the fruit isn't like the ones at the supermarket when those cups True. tasteless. I know. It's good fruit. Yeah. Yeah, like the New York Street ones were really Oh, good. it I was just amazing. Something else. So that's one thing you guys do well at the yeah. <gasps> Zed Bear has been so You already tried. Yeah. Oh. I did it. You did. I did it. Oh, that's not where God. you would cut it from, though. We yeah, need, we need he to wants, it up then. Yeah. Guys, yeah. guys, Zed he was shot. Was yeah. slit in the throat. <laughs> Zed Bear was attacked. <laughs> Zed Bear was, we, we need to solve the Zed Bear murder mystery now. <laughs> yeah, guys, was it one of you? Yeah. Uh, Dan Bo says, smash that like button. Yeah. I have to agree. I oh, have his heart. 5,376. Are you kidding me? I'm sorry to say this, Dan, but someone has just said you need a choke slam, Zed Bear. <laughs> Don't, okay, remember that last time we got hurt though. Oh, I know. <laughs> won that it round. Was like... Thank you, Alex. Uh hello from Hawaii. I just wanted to say if you all visit Southern California, try Beria Tacos, they'll change your life. Oh. Lo- love y'all. 
This sounds amazing. <gasps> Do you know what did change my life? I'm going to talk about this one thing that changed my life. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't say it was my favorite thing. Oh, yeah. What was it? Doll Whip or Quip. Oh, yeah. Doll Whip. <laughs> yeah. Is it Doll Whip or Doll Whip? I know. Whip? The, um, what is it? Oh, the, the we did go to Walmart. The we pine- got... We got Doll Whip oh. at Wait. Disneyland and at the Texas Fair, I'm and do it. I will the, never be the same. I know the I pineapple the stuff, eh? So good. Nice. Oh man. Okay, now we need to solve the murder. Yeah. Um. Totally wasn't me. Yeah, Doll Whip. Totally. Doll Whip. Yeah, Natalie gets it. She knows. It's life changing. <laughs> and and do you know what's the worst part about ever trying Doll Whip? So no. you can't get it here. I Nothing know. even close yes. to it. No. And I was talking to a friend of mine and she goes, because I put it on my story. So this is the stuff that I was talking about on my stories with close friends. And she was like, oh my goodness, I've tried so many different recipes to try and recreate it. And I just can't. And, oh, man. She's people, from New Zealand people, as well. Some Americans are saying, I have no idea what, um, what uh, Dole Whip is. This, it must be some, Michael some S. Americans. Gen Z, listen Guys, up. Yeah. get involved. Someone said, oh, uh, Netherlands jersey. Yes, sir. Yeah. Look, look. <laughs> yep because we're dutch um thank you michael if you ever come to cincinnati i'll let you use my bengal season tickets oh, oh i know stop it'll be so cool stop. and we haven't jungle. done an nfl game can you believe it i know man to. um matt what matched your expectations everything well, most things exceeded it Look, yeah exactly Disneyland. almost everything exceeded this, this oh, is the was, yeah it was really cool this is the bears Doll Whip is like ice cream that's made out of like pineapple. But I don't know what like it's. This. I don't know what it is, but it's like it's a. So it's like, I think it's, like it's the Doll um, pineapple juice that comes in the tin, and then they mix it with like this thing. I think I saw them making it, and they had like this big like pineapple. What did juice. they mix it with? Because like, I can get that ice cream, ice cream in the in the juice. Yeah. Really, but it doesn't go yellow. The juice is clear. It's not yellow. No, the no, pineapple it's only, juice but is the yellow. Doll Whip's only no. slightly yellow. The pineapple juice is is it yellow? A little bit, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, they might just add yellow food coloring. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Thank man. you, Superfish. <laughs> uh, the Seven Mile Bridge is iconic and a marvel, and you got to experience the drive. I know. How awesome. What did you think of it? That oh, it was incredible. It was so good. <laughs> Taxi. Whoa. <laughs> I think we've got another injury. Is that your drink? Yeah, that's his drink and a glass and, and everything. And his laptop. No, there was no liquid in the drink, oh, in the glass. Oh Someone goodness. needs to go what to bed. What happened? <laughs> it just, like, that snowballed so badly. Oh, he's broken the chair. Oh, oh no. You're a disaster. Not my fault. <laughs> Everything fell. is not his fault. What? Oh, Can that man. be fixed? I, I, yeah, I've got to fix the chair now. Oh, my gosh. Cool. Another job to do while I'm editing. Cool. Yeah. yeah. That kid. Awesome. He should fix it. Anyway, oh, back to man. <laughs> okay, he needs to go to bed. Oh my god. And in fact, all these guys are going to bed. They said goodnight. Yeah. <laughs> I spoke too soon. He said Denzi's been well behaved. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Anyway, guys, we probably should sign off. Hey, eh? Denzi's literally like Yeah. Um we actually we actually have to go to the gym too. For, oh, for the first time for the first time in like 10 weeks. We just ruined my day. Yeah. I know, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt had it so coming. bad. It's going to be so bad, but we need oh, he's to. He's so happy until you said that. Yeah. He's like. He's sitting on oh. his broken chair. Did you land on the glass over there? No. What then? My laptop. Oh, the side of the couch. I fell and then uh, oh. I went like this. Nah. Oh. Ooh. Nah. <laughs> Yowch, yeah. man. All of us, look, our followers. What's that? Oh, uh, thank you, Jan. All of us are followers just like Kylo. We're excited in your home and want to hear all about it. Yeah. <laughs> Might have to do a live part two at some point soon. Oh, I know. For sure. Okay. Well, I, think we, we, I feel like we could talk for another two hours. I can just keep talking. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, oh, there is no, yeah, there is a pinned comment. If you look right at the top, it, it's, it doesn't look like a comment. It's like this blue box Yeah. that you'll see at the top. I don't know if it looks the same for them. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know uh but yeah anyway yeah get the videos out get them out Sam. yeah i'm tr- i'm going to okay like I, i've already started a little bit on raising canes but as soon as i end this live stream i need to keep editing with the uh videos so oh thank you christina <laughs> it's gonna need it oh, oh that's man. so lovely wow <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, somebody just said it's a white box for them. Uh, so okay, it's, white it's at sugar.snap.shop. Yeah. If that yeah. uh if that helps. Yeah. Um, and but, to all of you that saw us in the wild, yeah, it was cool. We I know. were probably flustered. Yeah. <laughs> Jet lagged. Jet lagged, flustered. Yeah. 
It yeah. was crazy. But it was cool. It was so surreal. I you're know. Seeing people recognize us just on the streets. There you go. Yeah. Should I, I do know. my special it was thing? Absolutely yeah. amazing. Yeah. It was such a good experience. Oh, it was just insane. Like I said, yeah, it, yeah, it stole my heart. Yeah. And uh, and also, you know, when Sam was having his emo moment when we had to leave the country. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I, I realized what an emotional experience the whole thing has been for us. I know. It's not just like a family who decided to, to go and visit the U.S. I mean, this was like two years in the build-up. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. All of the things that we'd learned, the things that we'd talked about, the friends uh, that we'd already made. In the, the videos US, we'd reacted to. The connection to. we already have with, you know, the American people. It, you know, there was a massive build-up to this. And yeah. to get there and to finally experience it and I to create, you know, some content for you guys and then to have to leave again so this. soon. Yeah. It was emotional. I know. It was I so good. It was he fixed oh, the chair. Oh, nice. I'm glad that you can fix your. It's probably mistake. like held on by a tiny little piece of like string. Yeah, but that's all right. <laughs> so um, yeah, it was. It was a massive. Thank you, Michael. Massive thing. If you love Christmas, then you'll love California. There are 25 cities where it's Christmas year round. Pardon? Whoa! Oh well, you know what? what what's How the name did I of not it? know about this? <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you, form. Aloha from Hawaii. You guys should stop by Oahu, Hawaii, where Dole Whip originated from. The doll plantations and uh, way better than the Disney's too. I didn't know oh. that. Yeah, I, know. I, I knew know that doll whip came from Hawaii. I didn't know that. No, Sam. I know. My surprise trip. I've just changed it to Hawaii. Really? Yeah. So you can surprise me whenever you like. You yeah, want, and me. Want, starting and from now. And you want, you want <laughs> yeah, the whole Sam, Sam. doll whip experience? Yeah. 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 I came across doll whip, so she's the one that found doll whip. Yeah. yeah. Doll whip. It's doll totally, whip. totally worth it. Yeah. Doll whip. So everyone's like so much love for the doll whip. Yeah. <laughs> love for the doll whip. Right. Uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, I think we have to go now. We're so sorry if we didn't catch um, uh, any of your questions that you typed in. Um, it was quite hard having to talk about our experience. Yeah. And then keep up. And keep up with everything. Oh, so we got some love. Oh, wow. We just want to say. Also, you, one of you just said, would you ever move to the US? Yes. Definitely. Um, maybe if it wasn't forever, it would definitely be for a, a decent for a amount time. of time. Yeah. Um, and I think going there to. for such a short period of time while well, kind of expecting that we would scratch the surface, which we didn't. Yeah. Thank, I think it made it more. Thank you, Jordan. Thank you, Christina. More time needs to be spent. I know. Yeah. No, it, it definitely does. There Plus was watching so, you cry when we left. I was like. Yeah. No, nah, it has to be done. We yeah. have to do it. Yeah. So anyway, guys, we thank you so much for tuning into this live stream. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we hope you guys had fun and listening about our, listening to our experience and our thoughts and and everything like that. Our thoughts and feelings. Yeah. Uh, remember that in exactly a week, our first video drops, and then put the pressure on Sam because he's basically chained to the computer until we can get everything out. Yeah. So I'm going to be busy editing now, guys. So yeah, cheer, wait for raising canes. It's I thought you were going to say cheers. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. <laughs> it's going to be episode number one. Yeah. Anyway, guys, we love you so much, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. We gotta wait now for that.